Welcome everybody, we're Home Base Games, and uh, if you saw my post, it's not Marvel Friday. Marvel Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Impromptu Marvel Wednesday. We might have a... Marvel Hump Day. There's a quite possibility of a conflict on our normal Friday stream, and we really don't want to interrupt the Marvel Champions campaign that we've got going on. Yep. We kind of want to stay on schedule because new products coming out, yep. and we don't want to fall too far, too far behind. Yeah. So we might this will end up either uh, be a bonus stream, yes, or it will replace our Friday stream. Yeah, we're not totally sure which one will happen yet, and we kind of need all the time that we can get because it's quite possible that we might have to go against some of these bosses more than once. Right. <laughs> uh, we we learned like everybody else when we first opened the box that the bosses were more challenging. Yeah, which is actually exciting to yeah. me. Yeah, and it was more challenging than just like deck building there was different strategies that you had to employ mm -hmm. so patronus and i have played we have played one or two games against the first three scenarios off camera yes so we kind of had a better idea of what we were doing mm -hmm. because um the first time we we went in completely blind we went in with the basic deck lists yep and then um, and got our teeth kicked in. Yeah, we got our teeth kicked in. <laughs> and I think we might have lost one time with the first decks we ever built. We did. Yep. To drain. Mm-hmm. So um, we're pretty confident now, though. We we could uh, we we did beat the collector. It was close. Very. But I think there's some, I think there's some tactics that when you're facing the collector, that you kind of have to get out of the normal. Oh, I do this when I play Marvel Champions. Yeah, because he's kind of a trap. He he is totally a trap. Mm hmm. A hundred percent, and like he sneaks up on you as a trap. Yeah. We played him wrong the first time, and we realized Very how wrong we played. Yeah. <laughs> because he, being the collector, collects stuff, and you'll see how that happens as we progress through the story. But yeah, we can. So let's pop him on camera just in case. There are some people who are new or just fresh. A couple things to note. I noticed that there are some people who have been playing the collector just wrong okay. in general. And if you look at the collector's ability, he has a force interrupt that says when basically, oh, you can read it. Yeah. When a card, player, or encounter would be placed into a discard pile from play, put it face up into the collection instead. Okay. The collection, by the way, the, the way that they describe it, is an out-of-game area that interacts with our game state. Yeah, it's, it's basically a, a remove-from-game zone. Correct. If you've played any other games, um, it's very familiar to you. It's just a game. It's a zone where cards go that are out of play, and there are ways to interact with those cards while they're out of play. Correct. So in this instance, you can basically bring them from out of play and put them into your discard pile. Yeah. Reason it's important is if you get five cards per player in the collection, you lose. Correct. Now I noticed that, and this is some we the very first time we played not on camera, um, we realized, oh wait, it says any card. Yeah, player or villain essentially. Very important. Yes. And so, um, yes, the collector's cards, as you defeat them, they will end up going to the collection. The collection. Yeah. Now, so, like, minions you defeat, upgrades that attach to him that you remove. Yeah. Anything that was, like, a permanent in play that then goes into the card pile gets put into the yeah. collection. And that's where the rules thing came in. There was a couple people that I saw, like, on Facebook posting and saying things where... They thought any card you played went into the collection. So they were putting like event cards in the collection. Ah. They were putting treachery cards in the collection. Gotcha. Like, this is impossible. Yeah, that like, would be well, yes. yes, that so would be impossible. The, the cards that go to the collection are only cards that are in play. And then when they leave play for any reason, then they would go to the collection. Correct. So, yes, that's the permanent cards, like the upgrades. It's upgrades, allies, supports, um, and any attachments. Yes. And that would also count uh, schemes. Yes. Unless they schemes. have victory, which you'll see. Right, yes. So we did make deck lists for this video. So um, I think, do you have, can you access the deck list yeah. in, in the chat? And if you are watching. It is exclamation point lists. 
dropping in there right now. You can also go to um, uh, Facebook, Home Base Games, and the, the our last post has these deck lists posted there. Okay. And then also, if you um, end up watching this video on YouTube later, we'll have the deck list posted in the comments. Absolutely. So you'll be able to see exactly all the cards that we are playing in this deck. Yep. So we're going to get going. We will get going. And I'll kind of read our flavor text comic here. So once you defeat the Brotherhood of Badoon and Drang, uh, the Collector's ship is orbiting the an alien world. The Badoon were sent to Earth by the Collector to capture the Reality Stone. He wants to collect all the Infinity Stones, and he already has the Power Stone. That wacko has an Infinity Stone? That was a really terrible racket. Sorry. Yeah, that was I was bad. trying. Uh, we're approaching his ship in stealth mode now. Okay, team, here's the plan. We get the stone and get out before anybody knows we were even here. I am Groot. Right. New plan. Fight our way out. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. <laughs> uh, so infiltrating the museum. Though the Badoon were formidable, the teamwork and coordination between the Avengers and Guardians was enough to quell Drang's onslaught. After the battle, Gamora is able to extract critical information from Drang about why they attacked Earth by using a few persuasive interrogation techniques. As it turns out, Tan Lear Tiven, better known as the Collector, heard about the Reality Stone on Earth. Already having the Power Stone in his possession and always looking to expand his collection, he hired the Badoon to steal Earth's stone. Deciding it best if the Collector has no stones at all, you set out towards his museum. So our setup in for his deck includes his cards, which is the Grand Collection and Infiltrate the Museum cards. Then it instructs us to include the Galactic Artifacts and Menagerie Medley encounter sets, as well as the standard encounter set. Yeah, so it's all in the book. Yep. Um, we've already did all that work for we you. We did. It's already in here. It's already shuffled. Yep, so already good, good to, go. to go. The only thing we had to do was set up here, mm -hmm. which is... Um, this the setup side on uh, side one A just simply says to create the collection. Correct. And Which the way we do... you do that is you just put the top card of each player's deck face up into the collection. Yep. And real quick, before we officially get started, we did purchase some cards from the market deck. Yep. We had six units available to each of us. So for Groot, we spent four units and we purchased Agency Plan. Creative Solution, and In Defiance. So he'll have two units left over. Yep. And for Rocket... For Rocket, we spent all six units. Sounds like a Rocket thing. Yeah. So uh, I got Brainstorm here, which is just a nice uh, draw, car, draw effect. Draw for me and a filter for my mm -hmm. partner. And he works great with... Ro that card works great with Rocket yeah. because Salvage allows you to fix the top of your deck. Also, it's a zero cost thwart card, and the ah. and the ghosts are in here that come into play. The yes. sonic ghosts they just confuse you. They do. So this is another card that you could just play for zero, get no effect other than just Remove getting rid of your confused, which is could be timely because um, one thing I've learned about Rocket is Rocket doesn't want to use his basic action to attack almost ever. Yeah, it's a trap. Mm -hmm. You want to be using Rocket's biggest action to be thwarting. Sure. So. Um, Calculate the odds. Another uh, just really good card here. Uh, calculate the odds essentially. Oh, no. Calculate the odds, I apologize, is the one that lets you draw and filter a card for your partner. Uh, Brainstorm is the one that lets you thwart. And then take the fight to them. This is a nice card. It lets you just look at the top two cards of the encounter deck per player and set the deck. Mm -hmm. So you can just get rid of cards that would crush you, th especially cards like, you know, <coughs> no one wants to be Season. shadowed or certain yes. cards. like. That. So it gives you an opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about all these cards is they are all zeros that draw you a card. So, yes. like, you get to play an effect and still get another card. Yeah, so they don't cost you a card, essentially. They don't end up costing you the equivalent of a Right. Yeah, they, they're essentially also making it so that as your deck's getting bigger... All these cards are like cantrips, so in a, in a sense, it's still keeping your deck as close to 40 as you could possibly be, mm -hmm. which is where you want to be to play your best cards. Correct. A cantrip is essentially a card that costs nothing that nets you a card. 
that would be a cantrip. Yep. So if, if you're not familiar with that terminology. All right, and then as the rest of our campaign instructions, we are told to put Gallery of Splendor side scheme into play as our challenge for this mission. We also had to shuffle the Badoon Headhunter and on the hunt into the encounter deck because we defeated the Headhunter in the first mission. So that is all of our mission setup. This is gonna come into play with hinder three plus three, so a total of nine. And that's just a card that if you end up defeating it before the before you end the the, the scenario, you get more units. Yes, um, it has victory points. Yep, so you, which you'll basically get you units, which you can buy more of those uh, free uh, free cards that you can mm -hmm. add to your deck. Yep. So and when you're playing in a standard, we're playing a standard mode, well, just so you know. When you're playing in standard mode, you can actually change your deck in between um, in between scenarios. But when you're playing in the expert mode, it's incredibly important to how you build your deck as because you need to keep it the same. Yes. The only way to change it is getting these victory points, which makes them more valuable. Yes. So that, as we said, is side 1A of our scheme. When we flip it over as we finish our setup, so we just got to make a selection, essentially. Um, the other side of this either exhaust your hero or spend two of any type to discard one card from the collection to its owner's discard pile limit once per player per phase and that's the uh also in that bold edition that we're talking about if there are at least five cards per player in the collection or if this stage is completed the player got it we got a, our magic number is going to be 10 if there's ever 10 cards in the collection we lose yeah, when when we uh, when we uh, defeated this last time, I think we had eight in the collection. I think we had nine, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was eight, or nine. eight or nine. It was very close. It was getting to a point <laughs> where like we had to remove a card from the collection almost every single turn. Yes, um, yeah, so. it was. So my card off the top of my deck going into the collection is my uh, spikes. Headbutt. Is that the one that the uh, attacking, attacking one? one? That's not the worst one. I'd rather have that one in there than the authority one. Yeah. All right. Okay. And this one started with eight threat because four per person. And we're going to make uh, two piles so we just remember. Yeah, whose is whose. Sometimes you get like energies and stuff taken away from you. And since we use the same color sleeves for all players. Yeah, I mean, we just... could make one pile for the, uh, which I'll call it for class specific cards. But when yeah. we get to the. Uh, if we get cards that could be in either Nick deck. Nick Fury, Mockingbird type cards. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Okay, so two root stomps seems pretty horrible right off the bat. I'd rather have just about anything else. Yeah. Um, Death Focus seems good. Death Focus seems good. Contingency plan. Discard four cards from the top of your deck for each resource type damage. Do damage to an enemy. It's all right. Um, it's all right. Um, its biggest value would be a wild resource. Yeah. It guarantees trigger your... Um, Ride for justice. If you're trying exactly. to do that. Exactly, which I think I might. So I think I'll hold on to these and just get rid of the two here. Yeah, I've got an interesting hand. All right. Hmm. Uh, we start out with eight threat, but you're gonna thwart four right off the bat. Yes. Um. So I don't know if I care about make. I've got a plan. I don't think I need to thwart um for that much. Um. I mean, it's okay. We do still have this side scheme over here, so it's not the worst thing. Just it's to kind of work through thing, it. But I almost think that if you want to prioritize something else, I don't disagree with you. I'm trying to think if I want to try to get a setup card in the first because like my first turn is looking like um, I've got the unfortunately I got the brainstorm ah which is nice but I had I have no tech right to stack my deck to yeah. guarantee that I trigger this yeah. so this is one of the things plus also no tech for your salvage yeah yeah right so I have no tech for my salvage so here's one of the little nice <clears throat> combos so you can use salvage okay to place a tech on top of your deck. Um, I also I do have a tech in the discard pile though, so that's interesting. in the collection. Yeah, yeah. So I could you use could this to get a, to get a tech. Yeah. And put it on top of my deck. When yeah. I put it on top of my deck, I can then brainstorm, 
choose upgrade, guarantee mm-hmm. that I will have it because true. I just put it on top of salvage. True. Then I draw the tech that I wanted anyways. Mm-hmm. So that is true. That is true. I could actually just get my, my pistol right out the gate. Yeah. You'd but have it, to do that first. So you'd have to be able to spend the two resources before anything else. Probably not playing it. Right, I'm not playing. I've got a plan because I think I'm just going to exhaust myself mm-hmm. to get this card. To, yes. To, to, I'm sorry, to get this card out of, out of hot. So we're going to discard. I've got a plan. Um, the other card I've got is just draw a card, discard. This is just a fine card. It, it's the same as mulliganing. It's not really. It actually just helps her as well. So. I think we'll just stick with these. I'll draw. Oh, I should have actually. I should have another card too. Okay. I definitely do not care about reload. Or I've got a plan. So then I'm gonna draw two. Okay. Okay. So this is gonna be my six card hand. Mm-hmm. And do you want to call for an action? Or for what purpose? I'm just gonna play calculate the odds now. Which it's a is... hero action. You can't do it. Oh, it is hero. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> Can't do it yet. Never mind. Okay, so I will get going. So I'm going to use my action to get two growth counters. I am going to flip over. I'm going to use my contingency plan and I am Groot attacking version to play for justice for four. Then I'm going to discard Jessica to play deft focus. I'm going to hold on to a for justice because we might need it. Um, and I'm probably just, I don't think he has any healing. He doesn't. So you could just get so your So I think card. I just get my card. And it's just, while you have the opportunities to keep this low, we've, yeah. we think we, it, we, we have a feeling it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. We have found that if you can have the opportunity to get, um, keep this card pull low until you have more stuff and then you can start punching. Yeah, because he he'll put actually quite a few of his own cards on there. Right, and, the, and his hit points is actually very low. Very low. Yeah. I mean, if you just ramp Groot up to getting 10 counters and he plays one I am Groot, you've, you've dealt a quarter, well, half, almost half of his hit points yep. in one swing. So yeah. you just got to be a little more patient with the collector, mm-hmm. especially with this combination. It might change for different heroes. All right, All right so my go turn? ahead. Okay. So I have got absolutely nothing going on on this side. Everything I have is hero. So mm-hmm. flipping over. Um, I'm going to exhaust, and I'm going to put Rocket's Pistol in my discard pile. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to play Salvage, which is going to put my Hall of Heroes into play. So, and then we're going to use Salvage to put... Rocket's pistol on Rocket's top. Rocket's pistol, which is a tech, and we're going to put that on top of my deck. Okay. Then we are going to use Brainstorm, which tells me to name a card type. And as long as that card type's on top of my deck, I can four for three. And then draw a card. Mm-hmm. So name a card type, look at the top card of your deck. If that card is the name type, to remove a three threat from the scheme. From the main scheme, place that card at the top or bottom of your deck, then draw a card. So I'm going to choose upgrade. I'm going to remove three, mm-hmm. and I get to draw. I'm going to leave it on top of my deck, and then draw a card for brainstorm. So I get my pistol. Pistol. Then we need to decide <clears throat> on what to play next. So I could play calculate the odds here, but it's actually helping you. Having you cycle a card is not helpful in any way. Me? Yeah. No, because I think I'd want to. And me hold on drawing to this. a card is essentially just cycling. Yeah. So, I could. I could pitch Spider Girl and just get these two cards into play. Spider Girl's not super great at the moment. No. Um, and honestly, allies against him is kind of overrated. So that's one thing I've learned about the collector. Yes. Allies are nice, but they're not that big of a deal against him mm-hmm. because they end up going into the collection, and he actually only hits for one damage plus a boost. Mm-hmm. So I think I'd rather just have more hit points. So I'm actually going to discard Calculate the Odds to play Endurance. We're going to increase my hit points by three because Rocket just doesn't ever defend. And then we're going to just pitch Spider-Girl, and we're going to get my uh, 
pistols in play. Put three counters on them. That's it. Um, I could just blow these counters and just start hitting him for two. I think it's fine. Yeah. You would want to be able to tinker that thing away at some point. So. I do. And um, <clears throat> that's it. All right. Two, three, four. Alrighty. So first thing is threat. We put one per player. All right. So he'll be a three. Mm -hmm. Then he is attacking me, and I'm just going to choose to defend it. I think just to preserve the counters I've got thus far. I actually don't even think it's worth it. You don't think so? Yeah. Uh, what we learned is like. It, what we learned when we were playing with Groot last time was that we were spending too much time in the early game because he only starts with two counters, like trying to defend those two counters. Yeah. And you end up losing them anyways. So it's almost like you're better off just letting him knock you down to zero and then we'll get that, we'll have you build up. Later. Especially once we have more things to prevent you from taking damage. Okay. That's fine. Unless, um, unless let's say, yeah, because next turn you might play Mockingbird. Maybe not, though. Probably not. You won't even play her, so you're going to be exposed next turn as well. Mm -hmm. So I say just take the, take take the, the damage. one damage. Okay. So it's base one plus three. So you're going to take I'm one. Take uh, four. four. Uh, two. Take two. Yeah. Lose my counters, take two damage. This is something we kind of figured out when we were spending way too much time trying to protect Groot's counters early in the game. All right, you're up. All right, so, yeah, I'm obviously just face rolling this. Okay. Face one. One. Uh, give the villain one additional boost card for this activation. Okay. Another boost after this activation ends for card. So he's... That is a total of two... Pips. There's two. There's a boost on each of them. Yep. Okay. Two pips, and then this uh, biogram image is going to be attached to him. Yep. When the collector would take any amount of damage, put this card face up into the collection. Prevent all of that damage. Then place threat on the maid scheme equal to the amount of damage. All right. So that's attaching to him. The other one was just a boost card. It's going to the discard pile. Yep. And I took three damage. Two boost icons and one from him. Yes, one, two pips plus, yep. Okay, that is fine. All right, bad cards. Yep. My bad card. Inconspicuous box. When revealed, put the lowest cost card you control face up into the collection. By okay. death focus. So this will be our collection, I guess. Collection, so we... What? Here, just, let's, let's just put it underneath here. I don't want to get confused on camera. Because we're going to have all of our cards here. Oh, I guess that's true. So, that's fine. We're going to put it underneath that card. Um, I just, this isn't in the collection, though, so that's why I... Like that. Yeah. That works, too. All right. So, I've got Exhaustion, which is good old classic Surge and Exhaust. So oh, you put the Expert cards in here. I didn't do that. Well, then you handed me the expert cards. <laughs> you must have had them all in one pile. I mean, usually we do. So, okay. So, you could just not use that one if you want, because... Yeah, I'm going to get a different card. Yeah. If we draw an extra card, we'll just... So, you're not exhausted. I'm not exhausted, but... I didn't realize you gave me the extra Yeah, they were must have been mixed together. Uh, quick Strike. So, this guy's going to attack. He's got three attack and Quick Strike. Yeah, so this was also an... Which one? Massive this... attack against me was also yeah. a... <laughs> It's fine. It is what it is. Right. It just made it harder. That's yes, all. Yes, it did. That's fine. Uh, so, quick strike. Star Hark's attack deal indirect damage. Star Shark's attack. Interesting. Which ain't gonna matter. I got nothing to indirect it to. Alright, so, three. I guess I'm just eating three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. Pass button. Okay. Monsieur Groot, what are we doing here? We're going to do take the fight to them for sure. 
which is uh, another market card, and I get to look at the top four. And then I can essentially discard any number of them, then place the rest on the top and or bottom of the encounter deck in any order, and then draw a card. Mm -hmm. So. So the first two are going to be attacks against us. Yep. The second two are going to be encounter cards. Yep. So I'm all about this one just being an attack. It's just a boost card. Well, also do we fun. want that to just be an encounter card because yeah. we don't have a lot? We don't. And it's, it's victory. It's victory, yeah. so that means it's going to get removed from the deck. Yep. Um, so I'm okay with that being an encounter card, Me especially too. since we don't have a lot of threat at the moment. I'm okay with the, this just being a attack card. I agree. Um, this two could just be an attack card. Yep. When revealed, put the highest card from your hand face up into the collection. Discard the highest cost card from your hand, then place threat on the main scheme eagle. Okay, so you could you basically you could discard a card or put the highest card from your hand face. This yeah. is just discarding a card. As far as like, I don't know, getting cards or when revealed, this is not a big deal. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, so, that or you could, yeah. That's I think we'll just keep them all. <clears throat> all right. All right. Oh, and... hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to rethink this. Put those face up again. So we have to rethink this a little Why? bit. Because I am at six. Yeah. I might be flipping. I could probably only take one more swing. I don't have an ally. So if I'm flipping, no, then it wouldn't matter. These would still be boost cards. It would just be scheming. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it doesn't matter. That's fine. I was just going to put them face up so we remember. No one can see the camera. So you and I remember. Oh, okay. Because I'm going to forget. So it's helpful for me to. You have it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so finish your turn. Yep. So uh, my turn is going to be to use Rocket's uh, pistol, pistol to deal this guy uh, three, uh, two. two damage. Then, we're going to use Into the Fray and Relentless Assault to deal six damage to a minion. What? You're not using Relentless Assault. You're discarding Relentless Assault. Correct. Okay. We're going we're gonna to discard Strength and Relentless Assault. We're going to play Into the Fray which will deal six damage to a minion. So I'm going to deal six here, mm -hmm. uh, which will leave um, one. one damage of overkill, which will translate into me drawing a card with murder, and it will translate into one threat from the minion. So this goes away. This guy dies. Collection. Goes into the collection. Okay. And then I have two cards. Oh, I also get a counter. On my Hall of Heroes because I killed a guy. Mm -hmm. And then I have two cards left here, which one is I got a plan, which is kind of sweet. The other one is Flora and Fauna. So okay. I, I could hold on to this and Flora and Fauna you on your turn if you wanted. It depends on what's going to happen. Um, I mean, I'm going to, for justice again... And then I'm probably just going to get my fertile ground into play and play a skilled investigator. So, um, so the question is, is it worth playing? having me ready? Just means I could get another card out of the collection. Yeah, which also. So my question is, is it worth playing for justice? Because we're obviously not doing it here. You're just going to do it there. Yes. And we know that we're next turn. We're going to be getting a seven cost um, threat side scheme in play. Yeah. So is it, my thought is, is it worth holding on to the... Um, I thinking I that instead and hold this. I'm just, I'm just asking, um, thinking out loud if that's the... We could. What the play is. Or is the play just, um, you know, pitch Mockingbird to play your, your upgrade, play Skilled Investigator, and just hold we'll just on. Just hold these two? Just hold on to those two. We could do that too. 
you I'm know. okay with holding on to a couple cards. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, what we have learned is um, sometimes the right play is actually not just burning your whole hand, <clears> but <throat> using the cards at the right time. So for me, flora and fauna is not a big deal. Getting an extra token on here doesn't matter. I can, I can easily just take one more hit, flip next turn. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have no... I've got a plan isn't the worst thing, because you could clear this one and then just work on this one a little bit. Yeah, I could. It's better than holding on to those cards. Well, I, I was deciding if... Um, <laughs> I was deciding if I just played Flora and Fauna, and then I either just thwarted for two, or I just get one card out of the collection. Bye there. Mm -hmm. Both. <laughs> yeah, I think, I feel like Flora and Fauna is just better on group, because even if we don't have any ways to moderate damage, we're going to have to take turns flipping. Yeah, but it does prevent damage. But it does prevent damage. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a basic, because I'm in no rush to remove this. And it, there's going to be times when I'm going to get more. Yeah, it might be better for you to just attack him for one because he's going to reflect it as threat. Play. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Instead <clears throat> of thwarting. Yeah. Yeah, it's no big deal. We have plenty of fear. Yeah. yeah I'll, that's a good call. Yeah. I'll attack for one. So you attack for one, which when he would take damage, put this card face up into the collection, prevent all damage, then put threat on the main scheme. Kind of damage. One threat on the main. Yep. This is in our collection. Yep. Okay. I think that's probably fine. Yeah, the only now the only the only <clears throat> hiccup with that plan is that I can't move a, remove a card from the collection now. I can if you're gonna play right. Flora Fauna. You can, but I can't. So yeah, but um, I mean that's okay. I'm gonna pass my turn then. Yep. So my Actually, turn. Um, you already used it. Yes, I did. I'm good. So my turn is going to be discarding Mockingbird to play my uh, Bird of Grunt support. I'm going to play a Skilled Investigator for zero, and we'll hold on to for Justice Power of Justice. And then you're going to call for an action. Well, not yet. Okay. I'm going to attack first. Yep. Then call for an action. Have you do Flora Fauna. Yep, I'm going to play Flora Fauna, discarding I've Got a Plan. I get two counters, and I ready, which I will then just exhaust to get my Death Trochus back into my discard box. Good plan. All right. All right. That's it. Yep. All right. All righty. So first things first is threat. So we're getting two. And the collector is attacking me for one. Mm -hmm. And I know it's going to be three, so I'm going to take it. Yep. Two and three. So that was our card that we knew was there. Then he's attacking me, and I'm also just going to let it go through. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we do know it's three. So I guess could I just could just it. defend it. Agreed. Yeah. That's probably not the worst idea, honestly. I agree. This is a smart time to defend. Okay, so that's our boost card with the two pips on it. So I'm defending for the three, no damage. Then encounter card for you, encounter card for me, and they're face up because we already are. Yeah, so. so you've got the, you want to drop it up there? Yeah, so it's the, I have no penunza, some kind of monarch egg. Yeah. And it comes into play with seven threat. Is it hinder two? Hinder two plus three, yep. Yeah, so seven threat. Which, again, we knew, mm -hmm. and that's why we held on to that for justice. Yep. So we could just get rid of it the yep. turn it comes in. Flip that the other direction. It has a when defeated trigger, it looks like. It has a when, yeah, when defeated trigger of the player who defeated the scheme may ready their identity. And then mine is you, the Cosmos. Choose one, put the highest cost card from your hand face up into the, into the collection, or discard the highest cost card from your hand and put threat on the main equal to its printed cost. So the highest cost card is I am Groot. Which I think is worthless. You have two tokens. No, for sure. I'm just wondering. The question is if I, I'm losing it no matter what. The question is I can put it in the collection or I can discard it, but we have to put three threats. Oh. I just put it in the collection. Okay. I don't know what's right. I don't there. disagree with you. 
Oh, only because we have a lot of threat. Yeah. I don't disagree. Okay. That's that. So pass the button over here. Yep. So let's start with creative solution. That card doesn't do anything. I'm going to just draw me a different card. Oh, sure. Which this card is literally doing nothing. Swap out a card. Can you do that? Hold on. Yeah. Read this card. Hero action. Draw a card. Draw one card and remove a status from any character. If the status card was moved this way, was. Okay. All right. Ah, perfect. Okay. So we'll do for justice for four with this, and we'll do that off of the egg. And then we'll use energy for a counterintelligence. Okay. That's all I got. And then, uh, yep, that's all you got. Okay, that's You're up. my turn. <clears throat> so, what do I want to do? What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking about getting rid of this egg. Seems good. So. Yes. I am going to um, play, I'm going to discard a copy of Rocket's Pistol and discard a copy of Reload. And I'm going to play Ironheart, which will draw me a card. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to use Ironheart to thwart for one. And then I will myself will thwart for two mm -hmm. clearing this yeah and then you get to ready this right? is uh yep this is victory so it's removed from the game to our victory pile yep and i get to ready because it had a when defeated trigger <clears throat> then um i'm definitely gonna oh draw a card yes but i'm not gonna want that right now then the question is what to play next. I can, I could look for trouble and put an ally into play, um, which would, rem it would remove three threat. threat and then it might scheme for like one or something. Yeah. Because I'm gonna flip. Yeah. I think that's still fine. Okay. So let's look for trouble. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> we got real trouble. Uh, oh, you got the headhunter. I got the headhunter, like yep. the worst the worst card. Yep, the villainous guy. Yeah, Great. so he might scheme for the amount I just cost to put him in a play. Yep. All right, is what it is. So we're going to move three threat from the main scheme there. And this guy has um, victory two and villainous. Yep, so he was a boost card. Yep, which is fine. I'm going <clears throat> to use my pistol. my pistol here, put two damage on him. And then I am probably just going to uh, run from him. So I'm going to discard these two cards um, to the collector. And let's get back. I am Groot. Mm -hmm. Camille. Flip. We're going to recover three damage. Two and three. And we're going to be, uh, be a little coward here. Yep. So that's it. Ready and draw six. So I still don't want this. Nope. One, two, Not three, yet. four, five. The best time to get Groot up to fast tokens we've learned is like um like maybe the next the next time you take the <clears throat> you flip over and do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Alrighty. I've got six cards. They're all pretty good. Okay. So threat. So we're adding two. And then the boss is going to Attacking attack you. Me. Yep. And I could just throw Ironheart in front. He's going to die yep. no matter what. I He's going to go fine. into the collection, but yeah. can't do anything about that. That's so why you. Um, it's one thing we've learned about the collector. Like normally, when you play Marvel Champions for out this past year or so, like. You're always just chump, 
chumping allies, mm-hmm. throwing allies under the bus, letting them die, letting and it's awesome. Yes. It gets the collector every time you do it. It goes into the collection. Yeah, so, so there's, there's a, a cost. There's to a big them. penalty to blocking with allies, which is the the go to strategy, right, of any like yep. experienced Marvel Champions player. For sure. So that's why we were learning with the collector because he has such a low hit point value. You actually just want to make sure you you're leveraging your life total as a resource. You're taking that damage. You're flipping and then strategically using when you defend. Mm-hmm. So. Um, All right, so that was my attack, and then he's scheming against you for mm-hmm. base two mm-hmm. plus zero, All right. so just two. So just two, but now this uh, headhunter is going to scheme for one. Correct. Base one with a card. Because he's villainous. To boost, put Which, that guy in play. into play with you. Okay. So then, so it's going to be just a, a scheme just one. of one, but now there's another minion in play. Yep. So boost. now this guy will scheme for two. Correct. So that actually added a lot more than the three I took off. Yep. But that's okay. Uh, Rocket actually wants minions engaged with him to be able to kill. That's true. So, and so does Groot. Groot wants Groot. Groot not as much, but with those usually with root stomps, Groot wants yes. to be able to stomp them out. Although, yeah. unfortunately, she discarded both of hers early in the game, so it's yeah, because be they were in my opening hands yeah, and they were not fine. useful. So, alrighty, bad cards. Yep. Bad card for me. Bad card for you. Yep. My bad card. Stay a while. Revealed for the collector. Uh, hero side. He attacks me. If you take any amount of damage from that attack, put the top card of your deck face up into the collection. So he is attacking me. And if I take damage, I have to put a card into the collection. Just block. That's what I think. He's only so, attacking for one. Yeah, I mean, he'll still do a card, but yeah. It's plus one attack. So it's base two. Okay. Um, so his boost card, of course, is a two. So four. So four total, so I lose one count growth counter. But you didn't take any damage. I did take damage. No, you right? didn't. You prevented it. With a growth counter? Yep. Oh, fair enough. Okay, yep. so we're fine. Yep. You if you lost. take any amount of the, of damage from that attack. You did not read, read, okay. read, read uh, growth, prevent. When you would take any amount of damage, remove that many growth counters. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. When Groot would take any amount of damage, remove that many growth counters from him. For each growth counter removed this way, prevent one of that damage. Okay. So I think I think Groot prevents that. <clears throat> okay. Let me read that card. Uh, this is one revealed hero. Collector attacks you with plus one attack. If you take any amount of damage from that attack, no, you didn't take the damage. It was prevented. Okay. So. And We're that's good. a treachery, so that goes there. Mm-hmm. You lost a counter. Woe is me. Yep. Say hello um, And also, I wanted to point this out because this is another card that people have getting confused. When this card comes out, it's a boost card. It goes into play engaged with you. Yes. The when revealed part only happens if you draw this card as an encounter card. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he didn't get confused because the confusion only happens as a when revealed trigger from an encounter. Right. Not so, as a boost. Ability. Unfortunately, because I revealed it, as a boost icon during an attack, this guy was a now a minion engaged with me, which then this guy got to scheme got against to me. Got to activate. Yeah. Yep. So th- that is the one annoying part. But he- he's definitely a manageable guy. All right. Oh. So well, now you're getting confused. Now, now, I'm, <laughs> yeah, now I've got one revealed, so now I'm going to be confused. Speaking of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nasty. All right. Well, there you go. Okay. So now we are... Full up on. I said I wanted guys. I don't know if I wanted that many. Yeah, that was a lot. Okay. Okay. You're up. Yeah, and I gotta really think about this turn. So. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. I got a battery pack. I got a battery pack. But a battery pack will let you load up your pistol. It will okay. let me load up my pistol with one counter. It's probably just better that I'm just drawing two cards. Oh, yeah, probably. Is what I'm trying to decide here. Yeah, probably. So I think I'm going to tinker. Collection. Oh, good call. Tinker. Mm. Draw two. 
Okay, that was helpful. Then we are going to recover three. Hit points back. Flip. Okay. And now we're going to play some cards. So the first card we're going to do is we are going to ditch this battery pack for right now and we're gonna ditch lockjaw actually we're probably gonna ditch we're gonna ditch lockjaw and we're gonna ditch i think oh yeah we're gonna ditch cerebral skeleton card's not that good and basically just another endurance it's another endurance <laughs> that i'm paying one more for because yeah. the the plus one the plus one attack on here is trap Yes. <laughs> you don't want to be attacking with Groot if you don't Rocket. have to. Rocket. So ditching two. One of it being a fist. We're going to Relentless Assault for five. Sure. And we're going to do five to a Psionic Ghost. Yep. Which is going to defeat this ghost into the collection. Yep. And overkill. And it's overkill, so the boss will take one damage. And I will trigger Murder from Rocket to draw a card. Then... We are going to play chase them down because I defeated a minion. Mm -hmm. I'm going to remove Speaking zero of threat. Which, oh, Connor, yes, thank you. I'm going to remove mm -hmm. zero threat and get rid of my confused. Oh, actually, I should have done that in a different order. I'm going to do that in a different order. I'm going to take this play back. So I'm still doing everything I said, but I'm just going to place it in a different order. So what I'm going to do is, before I Relentless Assault here, I'm actually going to play Looking for Trouble, because this is a thwart action that will do nothing, and it's going to refuse, re remove oh. my Confuse. Okay, that's fine. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And then we're going to do the Relentless Assault. We're mm -hmm. going to kill the guy. We're going to draw the card, which we did. Yeah. And the card I drew was not um, that that card. So don't worry about that. It was actually another battery pack. Yep, that's fine. But um, then I'm still chasing down. So then I'm now going to chase him down, yeah. which I'm not confused anymore, so I can get rid of two threat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to ditch three cards. It's brawn and two battery packs. To play particle cannon. Okay. And the particle cannon gets two counters. We're gonna remove one right away. And we are gonna deal four damage to the homeboy over here. Okay. I kinda want you to kill this guy. I won't be able to. Oh, you won't be able to? Okay. Well, then we're gonna keep this guy, I guess. We're gonna kill this one. Mm-hmm. And we'll get a third counter. On my Hall of Heroes. Yeah, my turn is mostly going to be getting a card out of the collection, getting a couple growth counters, and... Okay. All right, it is what it is. We need to get something out of the collection. I agree. So. I just put two cards in there. Three cards. Three. <laughs> so, yes, we do. Yeah. Okay, so you're good. So, yes, I'm going to hero action to get spend two resources to get one of them out, which... Your heart or your my my pistol would be better. Pistol better. Yeah. Okay. Then we are going to fruition for two more growth counters. And I mean, honestly, like giving us both tough when that's what I was thinking. Thing. That's what I was thinking. I'll just hold on to my vine. Discard Spider Man to play. We are Groot. I'll remove two of the, the two tokens I just put on and give us both. Or okay. honestly, you could just give it to me and not worry about it for you and keep your two counters. I just well, I like have it. to lose at least one. So right. So just well, yeah, one more. What's the big yeah, deal? Yeah, it's actually it just better. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Ready up. All right. Draw five. Yeah, Groot Justice is pretty fun. I have a feeling that Groot is actually 
not bad. I feel like I could build a deck for Groot in every aspect. I don't I think, think Groot so too. is his, I don't think Groot is as limiting He's... as some people think. Uh, here's the thing. Justice I don't... is nice because of the of the ability to flip back and forth right. and then not worry about your threat. Here's... But honestly, all the all the all the all of the all the aspects are starting to get the ability to thwart. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, he's going to be better in justice, but he's probably just just as good, if not better, in leadership. We haven't tried it yet. Yeah, and here's the thing: like Groot is better in mul like multiplayer games, like where you where you have yeah. three or four players in your game. He's better because he can actually spend some time to accumulate growth counters and have his teammates kind of pick up the slack. I don't feel like he is incredibly powerful in any aspect. I feel like he is above average. In yeah, he's just aspect. a good hero. He's just a good kid. He's just a standard. I think he's a good all-around character. Yes. But I will say, in the in in uh in the solo and the only two-player games, he's still powerful. It just takes him longer to get set up. Because you basically have to once you once you get he control can do of his the, I am Groot thing like one. Well, yeah. well, no, it's not that you can do it once. You basically have to go through the first cycle of the deck, and it takes you a while to build up your counters because you're under a lot of pressure early. Mm -hmm. um, and it takes you a while before you get to like some setup before you can start ramping up. Because you know once you ramp up Groot, then it's really easy to start doing all his stuff. But it just takes a minute because. You're under pressure early. You got cards to deal with the collection. You're, you're, and it's just every boss is different and putting him under pressure early. Yep. Okay. Okay. So first thing is threat. Yep. So two. Yep. Then he is attacking you. Yep. And you're tough, so I don't think you care. I don't because there's uh, nothing I could do about it. Yep. So that's the boost card. Tough. Does it have a boost effect? No? Nope. Okay, so just losing that. Yep, and then your villainous guy's attacking you. Base one, plus two. So three, okay. Then I'm getting attacked, and I'm not blocking it. Cause I got a tough, which is getting removed. Mm -hmm. And bad guards. Yep. Go ahead. All right, for me... A dude. A guard dude. That's okay. I think he, is he guard and patrol? Guard and patrol. Yeah. Don't do anything <laughs> with the with the villain or the main scheme. Uh, okay, so I have the Beyonders Blazer. This is getting attached to the enemy with the highest scheme, which unfortunately is the Collector. <laughs> so that is an Amplify icon. That's the new icon from this uh, this box set. As a hero action, we can put two threat on the main scheme and spend two resources of the same type to discard this card. Okay. Alrighty. Which I might be doing that. Yeah, well, unfortunately, it means we're both... I'm going to have to make sure I get a card out of the collection this turn because keep putting cards in. i got to make sure we take uh, it. Yeah, out. I mean, I could uh, I could get rid of this and pull cards out of the collection and just hold on to like my Flora Fauna for another turn and just basically do nothing but... Oh, that's not true, because I could exhaust to get rid of one and then play Flora, 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 Flora yeah, to do it. Yeah, I'm just ready. Thing. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so I could nothing. probably do both. Yeah. Quite easily. So speaking of which, pass button Take over here. Yep. So I will discard... So I guess here's a question. So it, the, it says, spend resources of the same type. Can I spend a green one as a wild to count? Yeah. You, when you play a wild card, you, you choose, choose what resource it is. Okay. So I'm going to use a uh, Power of Justice as a green, and then... Uh, as a science. As a science, yeah. And then discard the I Am Groot, the thwarting version, to get rid of this. And then we have to put two threat on the main as okay. part of this cost. And that goes into the collection. Going. Then I will exhaust to remove a card from the collection. And I will discard my defensive vine to play Flora Fauna to ready. Get two more counters. Okay. And I'll just attack one of your guys for two. Sure. Let's hit this one for two. Um, which one do we want to hit for two? I'm assuming you probably want to hit the one with a seven butt, but that's up to you. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Sounds good for me. Okay. All, All right. done. My turn. Yes. 
All right, so we are going to discard Mockingbird, Nick Fury, and Thruster Boots. Actually, hold on. We're going to do something different. We're going to exhaust the Particle Cannon and remove the Charge Counter from it. Deal four damage to an enemy. This attack gains overkill and range. So we're going to kill this guy. Sure. And it's overkill. So he's mm -hmm. going to go into the collection. Yep. So it's one damage of overkill, right? Yep. Okay. Swap and then down. it's going to mean a counter on Hall of Heroes. Uh, that's not an attack, though. It is. Hero action attack. Oh, okay. Perfect. And then it's murderous. So I draw a card. Perfect. Then we are going to also... Since we murdered him, play chase him down and remove two threat. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to discard Mockingbird, Nick Fury, and into the fray. Actually, no. We're going to discard these three. So boots into the fray, Mockingbird. Yep. To play. To play um, into the fray. Oh, sure. And it's going to deal six. Mm -hmm. So three to kill this guy. Yep. And then four threat off the main. Three. It's six, right? Three to kill this guy, three here. Oh, correct. Sorry. Math. Math. Yep. He's going to die. He, however, has victory. So he so we'll gets put the in the collection. victory pile. Correct. Yep. That was important for me. Yes. Um, Relevant. And then... He was overkilled, so another murder trigger. Mm -hmm. Another Hall of Heroes trigger. Then... Question is here. Do we... Four and flip? What's in your hand? I've got a good hand. Uh, I've got Nick Fury and ah, rocket, rocket Launcher. So I could do a lot of stuff. Yeah, because you could flip and draw two. I, well, if I drew two, this would put a card in the collection, and we've got six, so i got to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. But I could also flip and draw three with oh, all the heroes, true. which would be, yeah. if I did this, I could draw five. Yeah. Uh, which basically would be a whole other hand. Yeah. Um, the, only, the only problem with... Um, getting rid of this, it puts a card in the collection. We're getting behind again. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you I can tinker could... this away. I could also just. Um, I could also. You could just exhaust to remove one right now. I could also just. Flip. I could also just flip. I'm going to draw five cards, right? Yeah. If I tinker this, I could use two of the cards I tinker to get something out. Well, it's oh. hero action to be able to get stuff out. Good point. Yeah. So I'd have to do it before. You have to do it before you flip. Yeah. So I think. I exhaust. And let's mm -hmm. get a card out of the collection. Yeah. I think probably just this guy. The yeah, patrol just put guy. him in the discard pile. And that's exactly what happens. He goes into the discard pile for the villain. Yep. Then I flip. Because you don't need to double heal. You only... Yep, so. that's fine. And then um, we'll lose three counters here. Yep. Heroes. All the heroes for three. And we'll see what I draw. Oh, Shaden Freud might... Oh, oh, wow. Okay. 40. Okay. So then yes, we're going to ditch these two. Yeah. Play Nick Fury. Yep. Draw three more. <laughs> out. I'm out of cards. Okay. Means I'll have to shuffle this up. Bad time for a downtime. Not a bad time for a little. Yeah, there's some, uh, some key cards here. Um. You could just uh, use the salvage and the rocket launcher to play the helicarrier and then put that rocket launcher back on top of your deck Yeah. for next turn. Yep. Um, and then just play your downtime and hold on to the Schadenfreude. Yeah, I think that's definitely the plan. Um, I'm going to thwart for two, though, first. Down. Yep. Give this deck a good shuffle. Well, I guess here's the question. So if you're discarding, if you discard this card with 
this card to pay for something, mm -hmm. can you actually put that on top of your deck? What's the timing on that? Let me see. Um, after you spend this card, yes, because it's after you spend this card. Okay. So you're when you pay for a card, you pay for it all at once. Yep. It goes here. This says after you spend this card. Then you do this. Yes, you, that does so work. That works. We are good there. All right. So I've shuffled my deck. I've dealt my two thwart with Nick. I'm dealing his damage now. Then what I want to do is discard the rocket launcher, discard salvage, to pay for helicarrier. Mm -hmm. And like she said, after I've discarded this, put this card on top of my deck. I will. And then use helicarrier to play downtime. And I'm actually going to start just to save camera space. All these... Uh, Cards that don't need to All tap. these upgrades <laughs> that don't tap, that just sit and play, yeah. I'm just going to stack them up there. Yeah. And I have one card left, which is Shadow Foy, which I'll keep, because that means I don't actually have to exhaust next to turn to yep. recover, most likely. Mm -hmm. So we're Very going good. to just end our turn. Ready up. Draw six cards. There are five. Yeah, there's my third word stop. <clears throat> All right. Okay. All right. Got a crisis too, which is nice. Yeah. Crisis averted. All righty. So first thing is threat. Two on. Yep. Then he's attacking me, and Nick Fury is going to jump in front of it because that's what Nick Fury does. Yep. No boost. He's going into the collection. Yes. He uh, then it is you. He's scheming against you. Base two. Leave a zero. Okay. If you're wondering why I've let this sit and play the whole time, it's two reasons. One, this prevents three, and I just want to get maximum value while we don't, yep. while we're not in danger of losing. Yep. And as soon as I sack this, it goes into the collection, which this is getting a little high. Yep. So <laughs> there's literally no reason. We just don't use it until we have to. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So that's just going to hang out until right. somebody tells me I have to deal with and it. And cards. So card for me, card for you. Mm -hmm. My card is Gang Up. What a jerk. So Can I'm getting you. attacked again. Yep. Um, I'm not going to have a way of readying. The question I, is, do you need to be ready for any? I mean, that's why I'm trying to figure out my turn. Because if I want to play this Crisis Averted, which I guess is probably, it might not be necessary. Because we're not that far behind on threat. We're really not. And I do have a, I've got a plan in my hand. Okay. So I could always, I got a plan for a bunch of threat. I also sure. have two chase them downs in my hand. Okay. So I, if there's ally, minions that get put into play, I could mm -hmm. do that. I have a lot of options. Okay. Um, the only cards I really want to play, like I said, I could play my, my rocket launcher. Or okay. the Shade and Freud. So I Although, think I, can I don't just... even really have anything to Shade and Freud. There's no minions really in play. So. Yet. Yeah. Um, all right. So then I think I can defend. Yeah. So base two. No, base one. Apologies. Boom. Plus three. Okay. So that's a total of four, which means I'm going to lose one growth counter. And I'm just double checking to make sure we did draw the third expert card, which I'm pulling out. Oh, yeah, Master Plan. Master Plan. That's fine. We it's only hurting us. We actually, yeah, we actually <laughs> shuffled in the expert cards because yep. they were uh, mixed in with the standard cards. Yep. Okay, your bad cards. All right, so my bad cards. First card, Inconspicuous Box. When revealed, put the lowest cost card you control face up into the collection. If you cannot, this card gains Surge, the lowest cost card I control. So it would be either Endurance or Downtime. Oh. Summer. Yeah. I think I'd still rather it just be downtime or endurance. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think I'd rather you keep. I'm just gonna the heal downtime. five. So yeah. I'm losing three, but I'm gonna heal five. Collection. Collection. Okay. What's your second? Yeah, there was no way to get around that. And then an assault, which is a surge. Okay. Oh, okay. Magical teapot. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme may heal four damage from their identity. Oh. And it's three, it's seven. Yep, hinder two plus three. So seven. 
Yep. I'll remove a card this turn for sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Pass button. Yep. So. Yes, you're just. I have to recover for five now. Mm -hmm. That's not an option. So. I also don't think you can tinker because I can't. There's Three, just too many cards in the collection right now. Four, five. Okay. And that means that I have to flip. And then I'm going to hmm. my turn is not super great here because I had no choice to heal. I ruined my turn. We're going to discard. Obviously, we're going to discard strength and maybe a chase them down. Okay, Just to play rocket launcher. Sure. Then. I think, as much as I like the shit in Freud, I'm considering discarding it. Play? Um, to just get a card out of the collection. Oh, sure. And then I'll hold on to this. Yeah. For next turn. I think that's fine. Because we're going to be, it looks like we're going to have quite a bit of threat. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I might change my plan and use my crisis averted. Yeah. Um... So if you're but if I'm going to use the Crisis Averted, I would ideally need your Helicarrier for me to be able to also afford getting a card out of pocket. I'm not playing a card, so, so you yeah. can definitely have the Helicarrier. My only question is, do I hold on to Shadowfroid to recover damage next turn, or do I hold on to this to recover, to do thwarting? I would probably I say think. holding on to I've got a plan, but... Why do you think that? Because I don't know that you're going to need to heal a lot, and you don't have you have well, one hit point. Uh, I have one right now. We don't have any. I, I don't have a blocker, so that means I'm going to suffer most likely three damage. And then if I get a minion, it could be more. Yeah. Or if I get another attack card, so I actually think maybe this, and trust that you'll be able to thwart. We do have a counterintelligence if we have to use it. Okay. So I'm going to discard these two. And we're going to get back my endurance sure. in my discard pile. Okay. And then you can use this helicarrier. Yep. So I'll use that helicarrier and take my turn. So I'll discard a root stop and Nicholas J to play Crisis Averted. I'm just going to remove six. Um, do we do it from this? You don't have a choice. Oh, it is main scheme only. Huh. So we had uh, eight on it. We took off six. There's two left. Yep. So then I'm just going to discard these two cards to get a card out of Hawk. Yeah. Sad. It is what it is, but kind of have to do it. So we'll put your Nicholas J yep. back into your file. Yep. That's all she wrote. Yeah. See, the sad thing about the collectors, you have to do those things that you don't want to do. Yeah. Like discard good cards just to get things, just to keep this manageable mm -hmm. so that you're not losing. All right, we're going to hold on to Schadenfreude, just in case. Okay. All right. Good and... Job. Two threat on the main. Two threat on the main. But that crisis bird has bought us some time to deal with this, mm -hmm. so... Okay, then he's attacking you. And I got nothing. One plus one. Two. Okay. He is attacking me. Yep. And I don't have anything that's gonna let me use my counters, so I think I just let take go. let it go and, let's remove and just them. start working on losing them and taking a little bit. Yep. Um, so plus two, so, so that's one. three. So, huh? So yeah, I take I end up taking one. Yep. Yep. All right, bad card for you. Yeah, using Groot's counters as, as a resource is a legitimate play. Yeah. All right. You don't get uh, to do fun Groot stuff. stupid but... shark. 
I could defend that just so you're not taking the damage. I do have a genius that I could use to discard into this if I had to. So if I take the damage, I could just heal four. So it's not a big deal. Okay. With Shadow Freud. Then so that's fine. Uh, he's quick strike. Yeah. So two, three. And mine. You, the Cosmos, uh, either put the highest cost card from your hand face up into the collection or discard it and put threat equal to the main four. Um, might have to put four on the main. I don't know if we can afford. Well, we probably could put yeah, it in this. We could put it in the collection because we're going to remove two cards. Yeah. We're fine. All right. Jerk. Okay, he's a real jerk store. Okay. okay. You're up. Yep. So we're going to use Genius to play Quake. Mostly sit out here and hit minions that ski. Yep. <laughs> um, then I'm going to discard Colson to play the Depth Focus. That makes sense. And I suppose I just remove something. Uh, attacks for two. I, no, remove a card. Yeah, I think I need to remove a card. So I'm gonna remove your grab magic. my card here. Unless you want me to attack for two on that guy, and you can just card. But um, having you attack for two, what does it do? It helps me kill him faster. I'm not going to kill him, though. Yeah, if you're not going to kill him regardless, then it doesn't matter. I'd rather remove a card. I am not going to kill him. Okay. So. Fine. All right. My turn. Yes. Okay, so we are going to... We're going to play... Uh, take the fight to them. Zero cost. I get to look at the top four. Super person. And I can, okay, well, these can, we could, ooh, there's two of these. Probably don't want both. We probably want to discard one. Or put it on the bottom. Well. I guess there's only a few cards left. out of the deck, so I'm going to discard one. Um, I'm going to put this one, uh, this is the good one. So we're going to put this one in the discard pile. Okay. And then, ugh, we got a stupid ghost. Well, if we leave it as a boost, it just comes into play. Right, but then, it'll activate. But I think it's better than being confused. Or we can just discard. Or you just discard. I think you See might want to just discard it. Yeah. See a ghost. All right, so we're gonna. Just, these are the two cards. We won't know what our two other two cards are. Oh, wait, uh, hold on. I was going to nope. say, switch that order. we got to keep the ghost. Because card, card, then then encounter card. If we want this to be an encounter. Oh. So we have to keep the ghost. Well, then I would have this be the ghost uh, instead the boost of... and, and then lose the ghost? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, you're fine. That makes perfect now, sense. Now, the question is, since I'm going to get attacked first, do we want Change the me order. to swap the order so yeah. you end up taking the zero? Yeah, that's fine. Yep, that works. Since we can set the order? Yep. All right, so this card's played, and then I draw a card. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, I got a brainstorm. Oh. But now it's just a total random, random guess and draw a card, which is fine. Um, I mean, I might as well do it. I don't have a way to set my deck. So, yeah, we'll play brainstorm. Uh, hero action... Thwart, name a card type. And my deck has one, two, three, four. Only four of my upgrades gone. So there's a good chance it could be an I'll say upgrade. Uh, it's an event. I almost said event. All right, so this will literally do nothing but draw me a card, which is actually not a Could bad be worse. card. Yeah. <laughs> then we are going to, and you didn't need this? Nope. Okay. 
So then we're going to discard, oh, we're going to play Calculate the Odds, which is draw a card and then choose a player. That player may draw and discard a card. That one's drawing. All right. Then you have to just. No, mine is just simply draw a card, then, oh. and choose a player. That player may draw a card and then choose and discard a card. Okay. So you, I draw, you loot. Got it. All right, so then we're going to use Helicarrier. We're going to discard. Is the bottom half of that a may? I'm sorry. Killing me. Because if I have to just draw a card to discard it. Draw a card and then choose a player. That player may draw a card okay. and then choose and discard Perfect. a card. That's why I wasn't sure if I just had to, I was forced to just. All right, my deck. so I'm tapping Helicarrier. Mm -hmm. I'm discarding um, Looking for Trouble. I don't really want, I don't think I, do I, do I really want another ally at this point? Minion. Or minion? No, because we set the top of the deck. Mm -hmm. So we're discarding this to play Shade and Freud. Mm -hmm. It says, use until the end of the turn. Heal two damage from Rocket each time you may deal any amount of damage to an enemy. So... That being said, we are going to deal two damage to this guy and two damage to the boss. Exhaust Rocket Raccoon, remove one damage counter from it, choose a player, deal two damage to the villain, and each minion engage with that player. Oh, you have to exhaust Rocket to use that? Rocket Launcher. Oh. All right. You said Rocket Raccoon. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm dealing two. Yep. And I dealt two to the boss. That means I'm healing four. Yep. Two, four. And I can now the question is what do I want to do next? Do I want to hmm. I got two Couple options. I'm honestly not playing Ironheart as an option. Um, I don't really care about the ally that's going to just go into the collection and mm -hmm. defend. So my options are I can reload, which would ready this. Mm -hmm. I could use it again, mm -hmm. which then I could deal two more damage to this guy, and then I could heal a maximum of two. Wait, wait, Only two. One. Oh, yeah, because you have a one there. Yeah. I have a one here. So yeah. it, my max is nine because I had to lose my endurance. Yeah. I could heal for two more, which would put me up to max. Or the other option is... I feel like I've got a plan. Is I've got a plan, and I could thwart for... Five. Five. Which is awesome, but, I also, but it won't get rid of this. Mm -hmm. You've already gone. We're not super behind on threat here. I am more aligned. To, I'm going to get hit for three here. I mean, you could also just use the I've got a plan to for once, then ready and get rid of the card. That's true. Just trying to decide if uh, how much that two damage is leveraged. It doesn't seem like that much. Health. The two health. Yeah, I'm going to discard Ironheart. I'm going to play I've got a plan. Fort. For two. So I guess we'll do it off of here. Yeah, I agree. And then we'll ready mm -hmm. and we'll exhaust to get rid of this card. This is the easiest card to get to deal with again. Yeah, probably. Black defense. I have one card in my hand, which I might hold on to because I don't have any. Uh, Okay, you're going to be out of counters. I'm going to out of counters and stuff. I think that's it. Okay. okay. And threat. Getting two. Mm -hmm. He is attacking me. And I'm just going to let it happen. So we know it's just going to be two damage. Yep. Take two. Yep. 
Um, I guess I could use my in defiance. Yeah, and take zero and draw and take a card. Zero? Might yeah. as well. Might as well. Because you also draw a card. Yeah. Use this in response. So I'll just I don't he, take. I can prevent the two damage and then draw a card. And you have no growth counter, so it doesn't right, matter. Right, it's irrelevant. Okay. Right. Then he's attacking you, and we know it's zero here. Yep. So I take one. So take one. And then this guy hits me for three. Correct. Or you could defend it, and I take nothing. Or I could defend it, um, which I think is fine. I think it's fine, too. Or we also have, yeah, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, because I'm probably just playing it for justice and yep. then discarding two cards into the... To... I don't even know if we have to. We only have four cards. We... We'll see how this goes. But, um, okay, so that's that. So then bad cards... So I get two because the hazard. Uh, this is the first time we've had it in play. It? Okay. And that is that one. So we already know we've got Philosopher's Stone here. So it's coming apply. So hinder two plus three. So a total of seven. And then power one. Uh, attach the enemy with the lowest steam. So we can choose. Oh, no, we can't because that guy just has one. Yep. So that's going on that guy. Okay. All right. And then my card is a guard. guard. Okay. Getting a little crowded. Then we'll make space. What happens with this game? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. My turn. All right, so I'm glad I didn't waste this token on a reload. So what we're going to do is we're going to exhaust Rocket's Rocket Launcher. And we're going to deal um, two damage to Servant Bot, two damage to the Shark, and two damage to the Collector. Then we're going to discard Energy and Lockjaw to play Into the Fray. Oh, nice. And we are going to Into the Fray on what? Decisions, decisions. I mean, Probably guy, the bigger guy. The, yeah, this is the bigger guy because he's got the upgrade on him. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do more, but it's okay. So deal six. So he's got three left. So mm -hmm. three here and three off the main. Yep. So one. That was five. This has some um, murdering implications. So I get that. I draw that. Yeah. That guy is dead. And this guy is dead. So both of those go into the collection. So they both go into the collection. Which I'm going to remove one, so it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. And then I think I just kind of let this guy hang out for a turn. So that means what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use this. Discard Reload because it doesn't really help me play Rocket's Pistols. Oh, now you can kill him. <laughs> oh, but if I do that, I just have to... Hold on. i to think about this for a second. Because it's restricted. That would be my third restricted card. Oh. So I think what I'm going to do then is I'm actually just going to exhaust and... No, I'm not going to exhaust. I think you need to thwart. No. Why do you think I need to thwart? Because I, between my for justice and you thwarting, we can clear this at least. Yeah, I need to start removing these things, though. What do you mean? And I need to start healing. I'm going to have to flip this turn. Okay. So I guess if I thwart, thwart for two, I can then pitch these two cards to the collection to get a card out of the collection. 
Um, I don't like the shark because it hits so hard. Yeah. I'd almost rather put one of the attach. No, the attachments are terrible. They're pretty bad. Put one of the ghosts back in. Yeah. They're not that big of a deal. They only have four hit points. The shark the hits for three, are... and we have low. I have low hit points. All right, so put that back in. All right, so I did that. Um, I don't think I used the Vestella carrier though. No, I didn't. I was going to, and then oh, we're talking. I got confused, so I'm gonna flip, and then I'm going to tinker away. This one? No, wait. That's not. That's the good one. Let's tinker away this one. I'm gonna draw two cards, and then we're going to dis. Play both of them. <laughs> mm, I don't think we're gonna play them both. Why not? I could. Yeah. All right. We'll discard this to play Rocket's Pistol. Three tokens. And then we'll use this to play a battery pack. And we'll move one onto the particle cannon. Yep. And then we'll be done. Yep. Okay. Sorry, that was a very intense thinking turn. Mm hmm. All right, so I'm going to discard these two, lay down the laws to for justice for four, and clear that side scheme. Okay. What's um, the... You heal four damage. Oh. And this is... Like a victory? Yeah. Victory, so it's removed. All right, so heal, and then I draw a card from Skilled Investigator, which is going to be the last card, which coincidentally his last card. So, acceleration. Okay, then... I'm just going to exhaust my Deft Focus to play one of my Vines. It's the one that lets me ready. And then I'm going to discard a Helicarrier to play an interior. Okay. And did you get a card out of the collection? No, right? No. Would you rather just discard those two cards to get a card out of the collection instead of playing in it? Playing the... Yeah, that's fair. I could just discard the Helicarrier in the yeah. interrogation room to get a card out. I'll take my card. Yep. Okay. Sure. It's just, and skill, I mean, the, the investigation card's cool, but we just need... Yeah, no, I, I don't disagree with you. I think that's totally fine. Okay. Okay. That is that. Ready up. The boost icon card is going to hurt us quite a bit. Yep. This turn. Because he's... Yep. Oh, he doesn't draw boost He doesn't card. draw boost card. But... It is what it is. I should have a good turn next turn. Okay, so first thing is threat. threat. And we are accelerating now, so we're just adding three. Yep. And then he is scheming against you, but we're still shuffling cards. Yep. So scheming for, of course, Cyanic Ghost. Oh. Uh, so it's schemed for two. Yep. That guy gets put into play. Yeah, it's so annoying. So then um, scheming for three more. Yeah, so Quake can Quake one of them. Oh, nice. So you can choose if you want to kill that one guy or if you want to just put two damage no, on the ghost. No, let's just put two damage on this guy. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. All right, and then he is attacking me, and I'm just face rolling it. Yep. So he's got... A boost. If there are three cards per person or fewer... One, two, three, four, five. There's fewer. Uh, put the top card of your deck face up into the collection. Okay. But no pips on it, so all I take is just one damage. Forgot to draw my hand. I have six cards. One, two, three, four, five. Collection. Then, bad cards. Bad card for you, bad card for me. All right, bad card for me. All right, crystal ball. Hinder two. When defeated, the player defeated this game may play a card from their hand, reducing its cost by three. Oh, nice. That's uh, 
little uh, Hinder two plus three, black so seven. lotus power on there. Yep. Oh, stupid ghost guy. Wow, really? Yep. I'm confused. Uh, it's not the end of the world. And shadows. That's the end of the world. That's really bad. Oh, well. Okay. Um, so... I get Furnax engaged with me. This is my side scheme. And then there's three copies of this that get shuffled into the deck. Okay. Now where the heck we can fit all this stuff? If it's right here, barely. <laughs> all right. All so right. three. It's just three per player. After he activates, deal two indirect damage to each player when you. Yeah, okay. Clean this guy up a little bit. That was a rough turn. Camera to see. All right. That was nasty. Yeah. All right, you're up. Or did you, did you? No, I haven't taken it. Okay. Um. All right. Sorry, I'm gonna move this because I don't want them to get confused. This is our discard pile, which yeah. you don't need to see. These are the cards in the collection. Well, Jessica Josie's really good right now. Yeah, she does. Um, you can use my helicarrier if you'd like. One, two. I'm yes, please. Dead. Yeah, because okay. that way I can discard two cards into the collect for a collection item. Okay. So we're gonna play Jessica. Yep. So She's gonna thwart got, for a bajillion. We've got this is our side scheme side. Does that count as a side yes, scheme? Yes, it so does. She is plus so she plus four for thwart. five. She's thwarting for five. Well. I think thwarting, so this one lets you play a card from your hand, reducing its cost by three. Um, I mean, it's a free Coulson. Oh. It's not the worst thing. Did you count all those boost icons last turn? Uh, you definitely no. didn't count it for me, so there'd be one. And I didn't count it for me either, so I would have do? taken damage. Um, okay. So it's yes. just adding one. So okay. it's just that. Yep. So that's the worst one. Yeah. What, what's the reward? Uh, the player who defeated this scheme may draw two cards. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, I mean, being able to play Colson for free isn't the worst thing, but... Although he's not super great, only because of he the... He just goes into the collection, and He just goes into the... Huh? Yeah, because I can't get the counterintelligence, and he will ultimately just go in the collection. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, he'll go in the collection eventually, but he also will thwart for two more right away. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to be able... You're a, what are you thwarting for right now? Five. Five. You're not going to clear either one of these, so I would get the reward. Because you don't have a way to... to correct. To thwart yeah, I don't have two. a way so, to thwart for two. Uh, correct. So for me, playing a three cost is fine. Drawing two cards is fine. Okay. I... So just work over here. I think that's the worst one. Okay. The boost icon one, maybe. Fine. The amplify. Yeah. All right. So we'll shield thwart here. Then, fortunately, I think I just have to do damage. Uh, you could. Yeah, you can ignore that. You can ignore the thwart. You could do damage. So, I am. Probably just going to attack one of the guys engaged. Yeah, attack. You, if you want to attack, um, you want to. What does Fernax do? Uh, after he activates, deal two to indirect damage Ooh. to each player. All right, so attack him so we can kill him. So two damage there. And then I will. My depth focus. Play. No, I thought... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm using these to get a card out of Hawk. Never mind. Um. Oh, actually, I could do that as a hero a action and yes. get this. Yes. So, so yeah, play your yes, I will play. Yeah. Agreed. Play my vine. Yep. That's my attacking one. Oh no, that's my defensive one. And that's be done. It. Okay, so it's my turn. Yes. Okay, so let's haul the heroes. Three tokens to draw three cards. Oh boy. Hey, Apuk, uh, the museum is, it, like, the last turn went really sideways on us. Yeah, I mean... Um, we put three side schemes in play and three minions. It's a challenging so. scenario, but, I mean, <laughs> we're, 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 I feel like if we can get past this, yeah. we've gotten over the hump. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, but, you know. Uh, He's a challenge. If you played the collective, you'll learn at least what we've what we think we've learned is that um, it just takes a lot longer to get over the hump where you can kind of just finish mm -hmm. them off. Yeah. So this is our collection, by the way, of yep. six cards. Yeah, six cards, which is it's not mm -hmm. bad. All right, but I also have a grip turn. Yes. So, yes, you do. Mm. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes. All right. So we've done all that. We are. Not tinkering. Are we? Just adds more to the collection. Yeah, so what? Uh, we, we have this, so we're going to move this here. But I could always just, the two cards I draw, I can also just get the card out of Hawk, right? Sure, but then you're doing like, nothing. Yeah, it's definitely. Other than hoping to get a double resource, you're literally doing nothing but that it's cycling your cards, I Double guess. resource would be nice, although they might be all in my discard pile. One. Two. Means there's two left. <laughs> I still think I just can't resist the tinker. Shocking. Draw two more cards. The greed. Oh, oh, oh the greed is there, people. <laughs> Whew. All right. All right. So with that being said, then. Are you going to have I, a way of thwarting this off if you feel right now? Oh, I'm going to be thwarting, yeah, for sure. Okay. Just want to make sure yep, before so you heal. I'm going to heal yeah. for three. Actually, no, uh, four. Five, um, right? No, no, my okay. max. I'm oh, up sad. to your max. Yeah, up yeah, to yeah. my max. That's fair. Yep. Oh, wait, hold on. I've got... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. We're only healing three. Have your... I do, but it doesn't it matter because it gives you three hit points. So it doesn't it's matter. It's true. So. so then do you need to heal if you're going to play your Endurance? Um, I don't know if I'm going to play my Cybernetic Skeleton. I don't have Endurance, but I don't oh, know if I'm playing Cybernetic so. Okay, that's fair. Um, so I guess I could not heal because that would give me... Figure, I guess figure out what you're doing with your matter. turn because... Yeah. So what I really I want to do here exhaust. is this will kill this guy, yeah. which will then draw me a card. This yeah. will kill this guy, which will then draw me a card. Yes. And then I could reload them. And then I could finish off your guys with both of these. Uh-huh. Um, so that costs one resource. Yeah. And I definitely don't want to look for trouble. Nope. <laughs> we have enough trouble right now as it is. <laughs> so that would do that. I also could play, so I could also not use one of these. I could play it into the fray, which would get rid of a bunch of threat. So that might be worth it as well. Um, so into the fray. Is into the fray main only? Main scheme only. Into the fray would do that. We're not going to, probably not going to play a helicarrier. Um, that would still draw me my card. Yeah. Still netting, still have three more cards that you're <laughs> drawing. At that right. Point. Um, I do have then thruster boots, which will let me thwart for more. Yeah, but that's not relevant to the. Yeah. Okay. So, I think I've figured it out. I don't think I need to heal. Okay. So, we're actually not even going to bother with it. Okay. Which means I should have just. All right, so instead, we're going to start with whacking these guys. Okay. So we're going to start with an Into the Fray on the first whack. Yep. We're going to discard these three. Into the Fray, this guy. Mm -hmm. So it's going to deal him one with five. Then I'll draw a card. Yep. And all the heroes. And collection. Oops. Wrong here. Oh, and then Hall of Heroes token. Okay. And then... So... Interesting. So we need to definitely remove something from Hawk. And we're not gonna... We don't... I don't think we want to put another guy into play. No. Definitely not. All right. Did you remove a guy from Hawk? 
You not yet. Card. You need to remove this so that I can skill the investigator. To... Right. Okay. Let's uh... support this. Yep. yep. And it's victory, so it's going to get set aside. And the player who defeated the Sade scheme may draw two cards. Okay. So then I do skilled investigator. And then I discard these two cards to get a card out. Yep. So we're at seven now. Yep. And then, yeah, this all these allies are really... The minions, The yeah. minions are really giving us trouble here because we can only put so many cards into Hawk. Mm-hmm. We were getting in trouble. So, with that being said, we're going to do something else. Yeah, I mean, if you can pull another one out, we could put these guys in, but... Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to discard this, and I'm going to discard this to play Spider-Girl, and we will stun and confuse the big guy. Mm-hmm. Then we will. Apuk, yeah, we're doing standard campaign, uh, mostly so that we can continue to change the decks for these guys as we play, since they're brand new. We're going to play Mockingbird. But standard is definitely still a challenge. Oh, yeah, standard is no joke. So we're going to play Mockingbird. We're going to discard Valkyrie, discard Reload. And discard probably Relentless Assault to play Mockingbird. So we'll stun him. Now, here's the real question. Do I want to kill another guy? Probably. I think so. So this will do four damage and overkill. So, I just take a guy out. I'm going to take this guy out. Okay. And then I will... Overkill two. Overkill two. Wrong file. Draw a card. And then Eight. we're going to get rid of one, obviously. Yeah. And then... We're going to discard Brawn and discard... Or fauna. Doesn't really help me. It doesn't really help you a whole lot. I mean, the only thing it would let me do is ready to get rid of my confuse. That's the best thing. You I can't can even get rid of your confuse this turn. It would just ready you. Right. And then I could. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I've yeah. already passed my turn. That's yeah. why I'm going to discard that. Yep. We'll, we'll take your card out of the collection. Mm -hmm. Then we'll discard salvage to play cerebral skeleton. To get the three hit points. Two. And three. We'll put a card on top. Um, let's put, we've got, let's put a battery pack on top. And I have one card in my hand, which I'd like to play, but I can't thwart it anyway, so I'm going to hold on to it. Yeah. Um. And that leaves me with these guys, which we're just going to thwart with them. I agree. So, thwart for one. You might want Spider Girl to do two damage. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that. And then Spider Girl will do two. So, what am I thwarting for one? Probably this thing. Or do you want to deal the extra one damage here? I could still. I don't care about the over. Well, the overkill does what? Draws you a card. Yeah. The excess damage. Yeah, so we'll card. just do two damage then. Three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then we'll overkill. Oh, you're going to do it now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to do that here so you can draw a card later? Or no, I'd rather just take it. Yeah, I think just take them out. Yeah. You just got to be careful on this collection now. Yep, so one, two, three, eight. four, five, six, seven, eight. That's where we were at last time. And then I'm drawing a card, which I knew it was battery pack, and just throwing these uh, thrusters in play. Yep. So next turn I can... 
Yep. All right. Crazy. Yep. Riding on the edge. Very much sing. so. Very much. Okay. Five. You can, Apu, you can change your deck in standard. Yeah, it's just with expert mode that you're not supposed yeah. to change it. it, it yeah, it, it, only in expert mode can you not change your deck. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this this box is definitely like these villains are hard. So here's, even on standard mode, these villains are hard. Here's why I like that it's harder, and. This is just I don't mind that personal it's hard. opinion. Yeah. Whenever, um, whenever a, an expansion box comes out, like Rise of Red Skull, right? Mm -hmm. The standard mode is so easy that the very first time you play the game, you can beat all the villains. Yeah. Like we played with and literally just mowed down all the villains, and we went and we didn't even do standard. We we didn't we didn't play any standard. We went straight to expert. For the campaign, yeah. When right we played off, on, on the right stream. Right the stream. Yeah. And we just did the, the core heroes. We changed our we changed our aspects each time. Yeah. Just to, to show different deck builds. Mm -hmm. And we slaughtered yeah. the campaign. I mean, it wasn't even close. Yeah. So you basically finished the content the week, literally the week it comes out. And yeah. then there's no new content for a month. Yeah. Making it a little harder is here we are, week two or three of the release of this content. People haven't beat it yet, mm -hmm. and it, it gives you something, another, a challenge to keep doing. I agree. I totally agree. I don't right. mind it being hard. Okay, so first thing is threat. Yep. So we're getting three, uh, four. Oh, yeah, four. You're right. So throw five around here and get rid of that. Yep. Okay. Then he is attacking me, but he's stunned. Yep. And this guy's attacking me, but he's stunned. Yep. Then he's attacking you. Taking it. Yeah. Okay. Bring it out. Base one, inconspicuous box. No, it's not going to do anything. Oh, thank God! Yeah, you're right because we have we're, we're already at the high end. Yep. Okay, so just one damage. Yep. I believe that's how it works. You're right. It's if there are three cards per person or fewer in the collection, which we're at eight, so, yep. so it's, we don't have to add anything. Yep. All right, then bad cards. So bad card, bad card. My bad card is his. Which attachment reflect thing. All right, so that's going to get attached to him. And then my card is the collector attacks you with plus one attack. If you take any amount of damage from the attack, put the top card of your deck face up into the collection. All right. So there's no point in me taking this attack since whatever he does to me is going to go into the collection. So I think we just spider girl it. Uh, yeah, that's fine because it's one, six and one half dozen. Yeah, because I can't defend the attack. Yeah. Unless you want to defend it. Um, if you want to defend it, then we wouldn't put a card in the collection. So if I defend it, I won't. Well, it's not even guaranteed. Yes. So if I defend, I could defend it. Um, and you're right; it's not guaranteed because I could still take damage and still lose a card. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So we but don't lose. We, each, we don't lose, and we could each remove a card next turn. Yes. So I think whatever, right? Yeah. I right, think we defend it is with. Spider girl. And then, ooh, that was a big one. I would have would have lost it. So there you go. Yeah. Okay. Pass that over there. Yep. All right. So my turn is going to be pretty good, which is so a relief mine. for once, right? Yeah. So is mine. All right. So first things first is we are going to thwart. We have thruster boots now, so we're going to thwart for three. Oh, what is this? Oh, when the villain phase begins, deal two indirect damage. So we each take two? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. I'm going to put one on one on Mockingbird and one on myself. I'm going to put up one on Quake. That's fine. And then you just take one. Right. You could honestly just take both because you're at the point where you might Yeah, that's true. Quake. That's true. So. That is right. true. So I'm going to go. Yep. And first thing I'm going to do is... All right. So the first thing I have to do is let's let's 
let's really think here. Are you going to exhaust the Taker card out of the collection? Oh, that was my point. All right, so why, why, I'm going to have you do that now. Okay. Let's get my spider girl back. Yep. Okay. Then, because I'm thinking about, are you going to root stomp that guy? That was my plan. So I won't worry about that then. I'm not going to worry about Which I can just do now because it's a it. hero action. Yep. So uh, I'll spend my energy and root stomp this guy. Uh... I don't think, he, well, because he was stunned, that he doesn't activate, right? It's because this is after he activates, deal two indirect damage. But because he was stunned, I don't think he activates. Yeah, he didn't activate. He yeah. he he, uh, he didn't activate because yeah. he was stunned. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Okay, so that so that's going to give me a growth counter. And this guy's going into the file. Oh, no, he's not. He's going into the mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to okay. be tough. Okay. All right, so then I am going to then essentially, I into the phrase, done nothing. There's no minions, so we're going to discard it. Uh -huh. I hate discarding. Actually, let's discard, chase them down. There's also no minions. We're going to chase them down because we're going to play, uh, after my basic thwart, we're going to play I oh, Got a Plan. sure. So thwarting for three. Yeah. And I think it's this thing. Right. Sadly. So thwart for three. Or it's this thing, which lets me play a card reduced by three, which I can't even do. So, yeah, I can't do it. But this card is going to hit us for two indirect each turn. Mm -hmm. But you have to pull something out of the collection before a scheme. Good Because <laughs> this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Well, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay. Before I even do that. <laughs> yeah. So they're all of the bad minions yeah. and bad attachments. So I guess this guy. oh that guy's yeah that guy's definitely the worst of all evil okay. or the least of all evil. All right, so thwarting for three. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I hate to get rid of this and not be able to use it. Yeah. So I guess we're thwarting for three, but then it's like putting more cards in the collection so bad. I mean, it is what it is. We don't have a choice. We got to make progress on these things. So yeah. we just have to be very careful. Mm. I think I'm just going to do this. Because I I can thwart for exactly seven now. Because I'm thwarting for three, reading, and then thwarting for four. Um, okay. It's not great, but... I mean, you could. Uh, In you my could... last card, I'm gonna just play Flora and Fauna with the freebie oh, off of this. Oh, sure. So. Okay, I guess that's fine. You'll because that at least right. Get two group counters and you're ready. Yeah. And then we're not putting a card into the collection. Correct. Yeah, because that's a victory. Yep. Okay. And then so... I can't do anything else, and you have a hell of carrier if you'd like. Uh, not really it won't do anything. Yeah. So I'm because I'm just gonna do. Oh well, I guess I drew a card because we got rid of a. Yes, draw a card. Thing, so that's relevant. Um, Don't want to play that card. Yeah. Uh, well, it's damage to an enemy. Yeah, but if you damage him, you're going to put this card in the collection. Fair. Okay, so then I'm just going to... Yeah, Apuk, I do wish that they just let you change the deck in Expert. Only from the standpoint of, uh, I just think it's more interesting to change your deck from expert. But um, I look at it as a challenge to build a deck that can go through all the all five villains, right? Yeah. So I look at that as like a fun little challenge. So I'll hold on to this. Yeah. I'm gonna discard these to play the Crisis of Verdict, remove six from the main. That's fine. And Jessica is just gonna thwart for three. three. So three off of here. Yeah. And I will thwart to remove use mm -hmm. since I got the freebie. And you could flip. Mm -hmm. Now's the time. Yeah, I guess. Get just... stuck. You flip, get some growth counters. Yeah, I guess. And uh, you can. So we'll get two growth counters. Honestly, you probably don't even have to remove your thwart because your thwart doesn't really matter. You could just. I mean, I. They confuse flip and heal. 
I can heal next turn. Right, sure. Doesn't really matter. I'd rather just take the opportunity to get rid of that Okay. Um, exhaust Brittle Ground, place a growth counter on Groot, yep. and draw a card. Eh, that might be helpful. Yep. Okay. That is all she wrote. That's right. Ready up. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's so scary. Yep. It is what it is. Oh, good time for a late on the law. And Florifana with an eye. Oh, man, I might wreck some face. Okay. <clears throat> so, threat. threat. So, we're three. doing three. And we have to take two indirect damage, right? Because. Yeah, it says uh, force response after the villain phase begins. Deal two di direct damage to each player. Yeah. If I lose two counters. So I'm going to take two. One, two. Okay. Okay, then he's attacking you. Yeah, and I think I just have to take it. I think you do too. So. We can't afford to put more stuff in the collection right now. Zero. All right, so take him one. Team against me. Base two. One, three. Again, I'm just letting that happen. I can't. I can't afford to use my counterintelligence right now. Yep. Um, bad cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. When revealed, put the highest cost card from your hand face up into the collection. Yep. Um, or discard the highest card from your hand and place threat. I'm gonna put threat on the main scheme. Yeah. So. So what's the highest cost card in your? Uh, a. Oh, it was a mansion. Yep. Oh, fudge. So putting four. Okay. I don't think that finishes it off. It has 20. Yeah. No. So that's 15. Yeah. All right. So there's this. My card. Fan the flames. Take two indirect damage. If Blazing Inferno is in play, take an additional if for an accident. Yeah. So just take two indirect. All right. Well, yeah, huh? here goes all my freaking counters. Take two indirect damage. If Blazing Inferno is in play, which it is, oh. take one additional indirect damage. Oh, so I have none of my girls. All yeah, right. You just lost them all. Lost all of them. Okay. Brutal. Okay. Sad face. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, my turn isn't going to be quite as you good as it was originally going to be. I lost six growth counters in one turn. How did you lose six? Oh, all indirect. Yeah. Indirect damage yep. times yep. a million. Yep. Um, okay. So that's that. So this comes here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use two or gain two and then use my fertile ground yep. to draw yep. and have it be three. All the lay down the laws. Okay. So then we're going to recover. Four. Yeah. We're going to flip. We will use a contingency plan to lay down the law for four. Okay. Then Probably just, just get rid the of main. this. Yeah. Oh, you want to get rid of that? Then or it goes into the collection. All right. Well, the main. I mean, it's got to get rid of. Well, just don't do it right. this second. All right. So four. Because <laughs> um, otherwise we lose. One, two, three, no. four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically, yeah. Um, I mean, I guess I could. The floor. You want to? You want to do it again? Still do it again. Agreed. On yeah. that one, and then I'll just use the power of justice or whatever. That's just, or no, just... the one that's a double your net. Yeah, I guess it is what it is. So it's still a four, but irrelevant. All right. So get rid of this. Not oh. Stuff. Okay, so you're just gonna port that one away. Oh. Sure. Okay. So then, if we we also have her, or we don't want to put her in the. I don't want to. Yeah, exactly. So I will. I think just discard your I am Groot right now. I do flora and fauna, and then exhaust to get a card out of the collection. Or discard the other vines to do it? Yeah, yeah, I probably just... Well, so this represents five damage. I don't know that we care enough think we right care now. Because we can't even damage him with this. Yeah, so yes, I will discard this to play Flora Fauna to get two more counters. Then exhaust to remove a card. Exhaust to remove a card, and then I can tap this to play my... So Fernex is awful. Yeah, they're all bad. These guys are probably the least bad. Yeah, they're, they're the least awful, for sure. Yeah, that's terrible. Okay. Yep. 
That's it. All right, my turn. As my turn's pretty much doing nothing. So, um, basically, I can, I think, pitch this to put a card, to take a card out of the collection. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. And then I'm going to just pitch Valkyrie to play Endurance. Two, three, then we thwart for mm -hmm. three, getting rid of this. Yep. That puts a card in the collection. Mm -hmm. And I've got one card in my hand I can't play. No way around that. So, yeah, that's it. We're just done. Okay. So threat. So we're placing three. And he is attacking me. Attacking you. Yep. And I have my attacking I am Groot. I don't even know. I mean honestly, I like care. I could just throw Mockingbird in here and then we can rescue her. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um I'd hate to lose all the counters now. I know. So, so maybe I, I just... It's either that or Maybe I, I defend. just defend. But even if you defend, he's going to attack for one plus a boost. A card, yeah. You have the, you have the vine. Uh, you just but then I Yeah, counter. I lose it anyway. So, yeah. yeah, I think defend. Okay. Try to catch up on the cards. One. Okay. Take nothing. Yep. All right, attacking me? Yep. I'm going to take it. Okay. Zero. So we just win. Okay. Back cards. Mm -hmm. Advance. Okay. The so two. pace two. Or total. Thanks. Is that worth counterintelligencing finally? Um we'd be at sixteen. I can Here, only 14. Probably not. I can only thwart f for three next turn. You can't thwart at all. Nope. I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, go you for it. Counterintelligence it. Okay. I'll just pull off three. It's going in the collection. That's the yeah, that's fine. We're, we're just going to have to remove two again. Well, it, was, it would be nice to get two off the collection. Wilt. <sighs> There are all my growth counters. All right. Well, I'm still going to flip. Yeah. And lose three. That's what it does. Remove three zero counters from Groot. If no growth counters were removed, this card gains surge. I mean, I'll get three back. Yep. So yep. Annoying. Okay. Okay. Pass that to you. Yep. And my turn is uh, not doing a whole lot. That now. I'm going to do first two. action is calculate the odds. Draw a card. Then you can draw and discard a card. Then I will warp for three. I will discard two cards. To get your counterintelligence out of Hawk. Then. Hmm. Guess let's just start. No, we can't do that yet. I mean, you could deal in the damage just to get rid of this. But then it goes into the collection. Yeah, but. And. Would it be better to throw that into a collection, or would it be better to thwart three off here, get a minion, relentless assault the minion? Which also goes in the collection. 
Right. It's either this or that into the collection. Uh, this or a minion into the collection. I would say this. Because then we can start damaging him. Okay. So then just deal him two? Yep. Two on the main. Okay. All right. And since then, we'll deal him four. Yeah. And then if that's going to be the turn, then I'm going to ditch these four cards. I'll put a tech on top, and I will play... Oh, wait, I thought I had Lockjaw on here. I guess I don't. Hold on. So I have all these resources here I can't do anything with. So maybe I just hold on to them? Probably. Not, the, not a great answer, but... I mean, I guess you could do Looking for Trouble. It's not worth it now, because I just put a card in the collection, so yeah. I'm not doing it again. Yeah. So I guess I'm just holding on to all these. That's kind of why I wanted to do that instead. Yeah, but now hand. we can at least damage him. Yeah, go ahead. Because that's mostly what I'm going to do on my turn is go for just damage him. So. I already did my alter ego stuff, so I'm flipping. I will, for justice, for four. I will use this to get two more counters. Okay. I will... I do... I have a helicarrier I never used. Yeah, so I guess I could do this in your helicarrier or an I am group for seven. Then I could... Gotta get something out of Hawk. Yeah, exactly. So the question is... Yeah, I think I just just out of. I don't know another way you could. Yeah, I was thinking I could just spend some uh, of these counters gross counters to ready. to ready and do it, but I can't afford this anymore. Fine. Okay. I guess I'm just holding on to these. And threat. Well, if I don't take a bunch of damage, I can do a big I am Groot to remove a threat next turn. Sweet. Well, okay. I'm going to take, I'm going to have to let Mockingbird, I think. Um, or I'm going to have to take a swing. Yeah, I think I'll take a swing, and then I'm going to have to flip next turn. So. Yeah, that's fine. All right, that's fine. So okay. let him hit me. So base one. Plus two. All right, so I'm taking three, yeah. two, and three. Yeah. Okay. And then he is attacking me, and... You could just defend. Yeah, I can't defend because I can, I'll have enough cards to get some block. All right, so base one. Okay, then back cards. Take two indirect damage. If Blazing Inferno is in play, take one additional indirect damage. If Fernex is in play, so I'm going to take two. Yep. So I'll be at one. Yep. Boy. Mine is the same thing. Um, There's nothing you can do about taking two indirect. Other than I could have her take one, so I only lose one counter, yep. so I can still kind of max thwart. Yep. That's what you could do. Okay. All right. All right. Pass this over here. So we're going to fruition for two counters. Then we can discard strength and tap my deft focus to I am Groot for nine threat. The whole thing. Clear that all off, which is nice. Then we can discard two cards into Hawk. Uh, yeah. It's, it's either that or this guy. I guess. Yeah, I think it's that this guy. This guy's just easier to kill. Yeah. The seven health guys are much harder to hit. Yeah. All right. Then that's all I got. Say love you. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So I think I have to, in order to play cards, I'm going to have to put something in the, in the collection. It's just the, the, the beast here. So we're going to, oh, looking for trouble is terrible. There's zero thwart. Yeah. Oh, boy. I mean, what does he do? Uh, choose to either put the top card of your deck into the collection or take Ouch. Okay. So, so what's he at? Three. Three. Okay. So we don't want to flip him right now. Yeah, so uh, it looks like I have another turn where I'm just not playing any cards. What's in your hand? Just stuff that deals with minions. Oh. Uh, so I guess we'll just get rid of these two and get a card out of the hawk. Can you do uh, the trouble thing on any scheme? No, main only. So okay. maybe just one of these upgrades that we can easily get rid of. This is well, I'm wondering two if what we should have done then is just cleared this instead with my could have still done things. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, I like that plan way better. I didn't know what you were doing yeah. in return. So, so that is it that was exactly, exactly nine, nine. and yeah. we, I removed right. exactly Yeah, nine. that makes a lot of sense. So, and this is a victory thing, yep. so it goes in the victory pile. That's fine. Not okay. the collection. So we'll do that. Because then you can still so play So then I'll your play cards. looking for trouble. Which hopefully there is, is a minion. Oh, there's one. Oh, and the one you want. <laughs> yeah. All right, so okay. there's that, yeah. which will let's move with three threat. Yeah. Then we will uh, shoot this guy for two. Yep. Then we're going to um, discard into the fray and a salvage, which will put. Battery pack on top. Thwart for five. Four for five. No, it's not thwart, but remove five. Yes. That guy comes this into the collection. This guy dies, goes into the collection. And have I moved a card from Hawk yet? Oh, no, yeah, murder. I think you did. Uh, I don't think I did. I think you put the other psionic ghost. No, because I didn't do anything on your turn. That was yours. You removed a guy. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. I was thinking about what card to remove, okay. remember? Yeah. That's, that's why fine. we're looking here. Okay. So the card I drew from murder, yeah. I'm just going to bit tit these two. Yep, put the yes, put the minion back in so we have minions. Then I'm flipping. And I'm gonna recover five. Oh, I get a token. Which yeah. is still short. Mm -hmm. So two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. Yep. Draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we might have recovered. We might have, but just took a while. Yeah, that's not that's like count our hen, our chickens before they hatch. All okay. right. All right. So threat first. Drop three on there. Yep. Thank you for catching that whole heroes gets a counter. Was it, I can't read his name, D. Herv? D. Herv, yep. D. Herv All right, so the three threat. Yep. He's attacking me, and I don't have anything that works off of my, we are, my Groot stuff. So, I have yeah, one so, card left in my hand. So let's right. see. One, two. Okay, so this. This should be an I am group for th for thwart. I don't know that we care at this point. Yeah, we kind of recovered. All those, have, and you have all those four justices in your hand. It yeah. probably does not matter. So then I will just Take let it. him hit me. Yeah, and, yeah. and I'll remove the counter. Exactly. Yeah. So three total. There's three. Big deal. And he's scheming against you. So base two. Zero. Right. Two. Perfect. Yeah. And bad cards. And now we're at two accelerations. All right. So my bad card is the Cloak of Hercules. That's really bad. I am going to not be able to do anything about that. So this gives him plus three attack. Okay. And you need three fists to get rid of it. I can remove it. Okay. And I probably will. Sure. 
my card is all right a ghost so it just got, comes into play against me and i get confused they love you Alrighty. all right my turn Oh boy. Interesting decisions. So I'm going to have to. So. So I'm going to recover. I'm recovering five. Mm hmm. Two. So here's the thing don't. Don't recover five? Yes, because I can play this creative thing, and mm -hmm. when I remove your confusing, I'm going to heal you for six. Okay, but I still have a max of, like, 15. Oh, okay. Then that's fine. Okay. And then, so I'm going to recover five. Sure. Um, and then I am going to... I, th I don't think I want to... I don't think I can afford to tinker. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. This technically isn't in the collection yet, but, I but mean, if you're going to remove it, then yes. Yeah. And then I'm probably going to deal with this guy. Yeah. So I can't afford to tinker my um, gun away. Yeah. Sad. So, all right, we're just going to flip. Now you can play that card on me. Yeah, I mean, I could play it any turn. Um, so I draw a card. That's my last one. Uh, oh, root stomp. I must have miscounted something. Anyway, um, so yeah, remove your confuse and heal three damage. Okay. One, I thought there was three of the I am Groot two, three, that are for thwarting. Two of each. Oh, that's then. Never mind. Three root stomps. Oh, okay. All right, and then we will deal with home slice over here. And how are we going to do that? I could just run it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you could root something. I don't have any uh, bonuses for killing dudes. Other than getting all of your own stuff. Which is not the end of the world because I'm already flipped up now. So okay. I'll call for an action. You can root something. All right, so I can use this. Do you need, and... do you need this? Does it? Um, let's see. Cause we're going to do one, two. You're not going to do two so of them. I'm not going to use two of them, so it's I don't need it. Okay. Because I'm going to have an extra card anyway. Yep. So we'll discard this to root stomp that guy, deal him five. Yep, so he'll go into the collection. Get a counter. Okay. And then for me, um, my first action will be to play salvage. So brutal. Well, let's see. Yeah, there is no other way. If I want to get rid of this, that plus three attack is brutal. Yes. So, all right, yeah, I'm just losing You just have to lose one resource. Yeah, wild for a fist. Yeah. Fist, fist, fist. Yep. We'll get rid of it. Uh, we'll put battery pack on top. Draw. All right. And then for my turn, I don't have much else. I guess I'm just discarding two cards to remove a card from the collection. Agreed. And we're going to put the... I mean, we want to... It's going to go in the discard pile. i got a full deck. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. And then, yeah, I'm just sitting on one card in case we need it. Okay. So I'm just going to for justice for four. Yep. And exhaust to remove the card. Uh, I guess we... Honest. It doesn't really matter at this point. Okay. Actually, don't let's not do this. This is way easier to get rid of if we're gonna get rid of a card. Okay. That's going. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's Gotta true. Gotta put an upgrade card in there. That's true. One that's easy. Yep. All right. Okay. Ready up. Oh, that's right. Oh, and I, I think next that. turn we can push him into the phase. Yeah. Next phase. Mm -hmm. Okay. First thing is threat. Got to put four on there now. Yep. And he is attacking you. Yep. And I'm full health, so... Feel it. 
So three. Okay. Then he is attacking me, and I just want to see what. What you draw. What I draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually starting to think that um, if you play against the collector, having actually having copies of ways to heal your allies is probably really good. Yeah. Because you probably don't even want them to die. Yeah. You just want to be able true. to heal yourself. So. Yeah, cards like, like a Voltron leadership ally build with. But you don't even need that. Just like playing copies, like uh, playing cards, just like first aid in your deck. Because it doesn't go to the collection; it just heals you or your allies. True. So first aid's probably really good against the collector. Yeah, that's true. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Well, nothing that is going to require my growth counters, and I'm going to get more, so I think I just let him. Yeah, go for it. One, two. You're taking one. All right. Head card. All right, so mine is if there are three. So six fewer cards in the collection, but the top there are not. There is exactly six. So this card is. Oh, I'm sorry. When revealed, put the lowest cost card in your hand face up in the collection. If oh. you cannot, this card game starts. Just the when revealed part. Yeah. So You're, put bye the bye lowest energy. card. Lowest cost card. I'm assuming that's energy. Yeah, because it doesn't have a cost. I yeah, guess. I would think. I guess. Servant How bot. How does this work? Put the lowest cost card you control. I guess maybe it would have a zero then, right? Yeah. So then maybe not. Yeah, I would think it would actually have to be a card, not yeah, a resource. Yeah, probably. All right, stay a while. The collector attacks me with plus one attack. If you take any amount of damage from the attack, put the top card of your deck face up into the collection. So I'm going to defend and use one of my tokens to give myself plus three defense. Just to guarantee I'm not adding to the <laughs> so base one, one. Right. Okay, and then I had a sword. Cool. All right. Okay. That's it. Yep. You're up. Yep. All right. So, you do can, you want to kill this guy? No, you can reach stomp him. For okay. Your, for your token. So. You could also probably flip him. Yeah. So if you want to do that thing first. Is... That's what I was thinking. So if we do the... Because uh, what happens? We just take indirect. We take right? indirect damage. Which yeah. is... Which is irrelevant, essentially. Um, okay, so discard the top four cards of your deck for each resource type. Discard a deal of damage to an enemy. And then draw a card. So one, two, three, four. Two. Okay, so only two. Sad. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Then, so, wondering if it's worth me getting this into play before I kill yeah. this guy. Sure. I uh, need your helicarrier. Go for it. Yeah. So then we can discard my energy to root stomp him. Yep. Gone. We can remove a threat. Oh, he's not gone. He's oh, here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Fair enough. And I get that. Um, oh, so maybe that is relevant. Then I can't get a card out of Hawk. I can, though. Yeah, but. And one, I'm not two, putting three, one. Four, five, six. So it'll be down to seven. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. And I'll fruition to get counters. Yep. That's all I got. Yeah. Uh, do you have the thing that lets you ready for two yeah. counters? You could always just I do. two counter and have ready if you really that's want. That's true. Do, I mean, you don't have a use for the token. Yeah, that's fair. So I could ready and then exhaust to get yeah, a card put out. this card back. Or actually get our own cards first, right? Yeah. Our yeah. own cards first. All right. And then my turn? Mm-hmm. Because my turn's not super, not super fancy. Um, I can... I think I'm just going to ditch these... Play brawn. Yeah. Punch him for one, fort for one. Yep. He gets flipped over. Mm -hmm. Side two, when he is revealed, each player in player order must choose to either put the top card of their deck face up into the collection or take three damage. So I'm going to. Three main damage? Yeah. Okay. Choose take to it. take three damage and remove three growth counters. And then his health points here. 
Um, it's 14 per player, so 28. Okay. And then I'm just going to thwart for two. Actually, no, I'm just going to remove a card from the collection. So we're going to remove this. And that's it. All right. Eddie up. He puts threat on there first. Yep, so, so four. it's four. He is attacking me, and at this point, I think I just eat it. Yeah. Boost, of it's course. Out of play. He gets put into play with me. Fine, you would have lost your counters anyways, then. Just attacking um, for two. Correct. So, you lose both your so I'm just going to do in defiance sure. to prevent the two and then draw a card. Um, You can't. So, in defiance is a hero interrupt, and this is a forced interrupt. So, the two, you, the forced interrupt would happen first. Oh, okay. So, so I have forced... to lose these from him. Yep. And then this guy attacks me for two. And... Correct. Okay. okay, that's fine. And then you draw a card. Interesting. Which I did. Okay. Then you're getting attacked. Yeah, I'll take it. Ace two. Ooh, big one. Sorry. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, which is right. Okay. That card. Okay. Advance. Okay. Three. Three. Plus one. Four. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Assault. Oh. All right. So, so now we're attacked. losing Mockingbird. Yeah. For, for this one. She's going to go into the collection. Yeah. Please. Okay. Okay. Here's what it is. Yep. All right, so my turn. Mm-hmm. All right, so then I think we're going to play take the fight to them. I get to look at the top four and then choose. Oh, okay. So... I think we're gonna put this card on the bottom. Well, we don't want this. So these cards go into the collection. So if we just make them boost cards, that's fine. And then this card will. This card. Ugh that so we don't have to for a little while yep and then this card is just put the highest cost card in the collection and you put threat on the main yeah so i think that's a fine card just to deal with yeah i, I don't want to i don't want to put cards in the collection the only thing that is with this one yeah i guess i'd rather have that than that this because this pre like actually, prevents us from hitting him actually this card this card gets revealed as a boost and Oh, okay. So we either discard this card, put it on the bottom of the deck. No, I would just have it be. But it's still going to get put into play. I understand. So, like, putting it in a boost makes... So you just, you don't care if this card gets put into play? No. That's what I'm saying. Have this card be an attacking card. Have this card be an attacking card. Have that card be a, re a boost card that's... Yeah, I thought we didn't want to put any cards into play that are going to go into the collection. Well, we're not going to have a choice. All three of those put cards into the collection. Right, but you, it could be random cards here. This one is easier to deal with. Okay, that's fine. We'll do it like that. Because so you just have to deal them a little damage and then card. it goes away. Okay. And then... Uh, my turn. Mm-hmm. So I think I want to kill that guy. Okay. So, if that's the case, I'm going to discard a copy of Reload to play a battery pack. Uh, exhaust the battery pack and move a counter onto my rocket. 
pistol. pistol, and then use the rocket pistol to deal two damage to that guy. And then I'm going to use the cannon to deal four damage with overkill. Okay. Which will give me a counter. So two. Two? Yep. It'll give me a counter, and I will draw a card with murderous. Then I am going to... Warp for three. Mm -hmm. Discard, chase them down to play. I've got a plan. Sure. Actually, yeah, discard Lockjaw to play. I've got a plan. They're ready. Did you use that chase them down after you killed that guy? Oh, yeah, I guess we could do that. That's fine. We could do well, that. I'll but... just discard a different card. What's your confusion? Then are you going to be able to remove a card from here? Yeah. Yeah, I can. So okay. don't worry about it. Okay. So I'll, I actually, you're right. I'll use to chase him down. Mm -hmm. After you kill that guy. After I kill that guy. Then you thwarted. Then I thwarted for three. Yep. Then I'm going to play I've Got a Plan. I'm going to discard use... Lockjaw to do it. No, use your Helicarrier. No, because I want Lockjaw on my discard pile. It's going to be in your discard pile because you're going to discard No, I'm going to do something else. All right. So lock. I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to ready. I'm going to flip. You can't get anything out of here while you're... Oh, uh, that's why. Yeah. Okay, all right, fine. So. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. That's why, okay. So then I'm going to flip. I'm going to recover five. Two, four, and five. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw. Am I gonna draw three here? Probably not. I think you want to hold off. I think I'll hold off till next turn. Yeah. And then I'm going to punch for one. Hmm? Fort for one. Yeah. And I am done. Okay. So I think I just. I, I don't really want to put. Play more allies to have them get pitched in did here. Did you take a card out of Hawk for me? I'm about to. Oh, for you? Yeah, when I did it. No. Um, uh, and... No, you did. You took out Mockingbird. Oh, that's right. Yes. Okay. So then I'm going to discard these two allies that I don't really want to play anyway to yeah get another thing out. And then I'm just going to play the counterintelligence. Sure. Emergency button, if yeah. necessary. Okay. And then just punch him? And punch him for two. That's it. Ready? We might lose that main scheme. But it doesn't. That's, I mean, the counterintelligence might help with that. Oh, no, that's but... true. We also don't lose a game if we lose the main. So yes, we do. Four. There is only one. Oh, there is one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yes, we do. Got to be careful. Yep. Okay. So he is scheming against you, and it's four, so we just, I have to use counterintelligence? Okay. Yeah. No, it's I 20. guess we don't lose, it's yeah. 20. So. But you might as well use it, because if yeah. he schemes for less, then you're yeah. mad. So. Just putting one on. Put one on. One, five, six. Yeah. Okay, and then he's attacking me, and it's going to be for five damage total. Do I care? You could just defend. Could defend. <coughs> oh, I gotta draw my hand. I have no way of thwarting. I have no way of really recovering any. I think I just. I guess I just defend it. I know it's five, because we got this. Take two. Okay. Then bad card for you yeah. and the bad card for me. So we know mine just gets attached. Yep. And mine is poison. Attach my identity when yep. your turn begins. Put a poison counter here and start taking damage. Okay. I have to spend three resources of different types. Start it. Okay. Which... I can do bad, but. All right. 
Can anybody pay for that? Yes. Then I can do it. What is it? Three fifths? Three of any, three different things. Three different yes. types of resources? Yes. Odd. Okay. All right. You're up. Okay. How many uh, I am Groots do you have that do 10 damage left in your deck? Um, All of them? Or are they in the discard box? Because we might want to just try to get you up to 10 nope. so we can finish this guy. Yeah, I, there's two in my deck. Okay. All right. All right. So my turn. Unfortunately, I can't afford to tinker. And really frustrating to this game. All right, so I'm drawing three from Hall of Heroes. And I never even got to use that Lockjaw. It was not matter one bit. I didn't have, have any hands. Oh, I should have. Eh, it is what it is. All right, so I think I heal. Two, four. I don't have to worry about damage. Five. Flip. Yep. And I've got a million cards, so. I'm yeah, gonna... with this you could use your salvage because it provides two different resources. Right. And one, so you could get rid of this with a card. With two. Or two cards. Two cards. Yeah. So I could get rid of it with a salvage and. Um, a mansion, which we're never gonna play. Oh no, not a mansion because it's got. It would have to be a fist resource. So yeah. we get rid of one of these. Sure. So we get rid of that. Yep. But then it goes into the collection. Yep. So I'm gonna do something about that. So we'll do this and just get rid of counterintelligence, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I got something out of the collection, and then I think I want to put a minion into play. Remove some threat here. Oh, getting rid of advance is good. All right, a ghost. So I put this into play. It was um, revealed, right? Discard cards on the top of the encounter deck until you discard a minion and put ah, it into play. So, so no, yeah. it's even nice. better. Yep, even better. Best, so then, best case scenario. Yep. So then we're going to power pack my pistol. Use my pistol, put two damage on him. You gonna kill him? Yes. And then we are going to kill him with this, this, and this. So we're gonna deal him six. Yep. So two on him, four overkill. So let's get rid of one of these and make. Yep. Or just. Draw a card for murderous token. Yeah. Mockingbird, flora fauna, you? Oh, sure. And then get brainstorm here. I didn't have anything when I played the salvage. Yeah. So it just, uh, total guess at this point yeah um i've got a ton of upgrades i'm gonna say event resource nope. fail all right so this just does nothing and i draw a card all right it is what it is you're up oh no wait punch for one warp for one so that's gonna do this oh and, and put it into the collection which is fine one two three four five six okay. i can still remove okay Okay. And you're up. Yep. So... Yeah, we don't ever really want it to stay at nine. <laughs> yeah. No. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that potion card is brutal. So I can discard a strength. I don't think this... I'd rather just it. have the minions, to be honest with you, so we can kill them. Hate yeah, the... These ones confuse us. Yeah, whatever. Right. We don't care about threat. Okay. And then I can... What we really need is you to shuffle your deck and like draw thwarting cards for justices, crisis. Like it's ridiculous how many turns you're just not drawing any thwarting cards. Uh, they're all in my deck. 
all in your discipline. All I've played yeah. is a lay down the law. Yeah, I say like you literally have not played any. That's so a, they're all kept, in here. Yeah, it's just brutal. <laughs> like I just shuffled poorly, apparently. Um, so that said, I mean, just I guess, damage him. Yeah, I think we just just root stomp. Discard him. these two to play the root stomp and deal five. You also have a death focus, so you don't have to discard those two. Um. Yeah, I guess I could hold the power of justice. So dealing five. So dealing five. So so yeah, let's take, take ten, that down add five, and add one, three, four, five, three. You just need to damage this guy at this point. And then the question is, do I just attack with my spikes to do four right now? Yeah, go for it. Okay. And that's it. Yep. Still no sorting cards. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. So threat. Yeah. So four. Uh, yeah, four. Then he's attacking you. I mean, you're full health, so you don't care. No. Base two, plus one. So three. Okay. Then he's attacking me, and with one counter, I don't care. So base two, that guy. So he's just going to get put into play with me. Yep. So I take one, two, and this guy comes into play with me and kills me another And back hearts. Alright. Wilt. Oh. That's well, fine, it's fine, actually. That's good timing. Yeah. That's removed now. Yeah. Ooh. And very good timing. Uh Even so better. gang up, surge a dude. Perfect. Okay. Alright. Finally got some luck. Just a hair. Alright. Okay. So pass that over here. Yep. So we, uh, between my action and my fertile growth, get I get three. three counters and draw a card. Then we're gonna flip. Oh, hold on. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Then we can fruition for two more counters. Yep. We can. Do I'm you want to kill these guys? I'm gonna. No, I don't care. But I'm gonna use an action. And I'm going to discard this to get a card out of Hawk. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we'll just throw this in the Yeah, I no, agree. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Yep, we're fine. So I will... So just start punching this dude. Punching. Or, or thwarting. Yeah, so I think I, I could do... Well, so we, I could need do... To, we need me to kill because you have guard and... Um, so we need to get rid That's of that patrol true. guy. Yeah. So maybe I will just Relentless Assault that guy. Sure. Yeah. So we're going to use this. Actually, let's do a couple things first out of action, out of turn. Okay. Uh, let's play Calculate the Odds, draw a card, then you draw and discard a card. Okay. See if that helps. Then we're going to discard Nick Fury and exhaust my Helicarrier to play Relentless Assault, hitting the guard guy. Which so will three with two carryover. Collection. Oh, yeah. Uh counter. Draw for murderous. Play chase them down as the the follow up action yep. to that. Alright. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, No. You took off a five. I took off a three. Off a of five. I... You took off a of five. Okay. I don't think so. You did. If anyone's watching, can you uh, <laughs> tell us? I don't think that was the case. I'm pretty sure I took off a three. Oh, you took off a five. I watched you do it. You just took off a five. Okay. Okay. And then, so you're done with your out of sequence stuff? Yeah, yes. Okay. I will. Did you get your Hall of Heroes counter when you I killed did. that guy? Okay. So. I think I want to... He's at 12. I know, so that's what I'm thinking. So this is 10. Um, so if we do... 
One of these for a root stomp targeting the boss for five. And two. It was at four. five. Awesome. Thanks. Five. Then I'm just going to do one of these, and you used your helicarrier, so I cannot. Um, Get rid of the fort one. It doesn't mean it. Yeah. To do I am Groot for five. Yep, yeah, he's dead. See? Yep. I can't. I, I haven't gone yet. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. So, Rocket, with my, my worthless... Uh, I guess I could ready with my vines and then attack skeleton him. Skeleton <laughs> and punch him for two. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Whew. A legit collector victory on standard. Yeah. Uh, on standard. Don't yes. Worry. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That's what we had last time. I think so. We had eight. So. Yeah. So we got there. Thankfully, it got a little hairy there sometimes, but we got there. Uh, I guess we can calculate. We had some pretty bad luck, too. Like, literally... All these cards. I'll, they're all going to be justice cards. Justice. Look at this. Yeah. Three, four justices yeah. and a crisis averted is still sitting in our deck, and that's why we're getting st stuck on threat. Yeah, exactly. Um, so record one unit per player, then record a number of units for each player to a maximum of three equal to the victory values on encounter cards, which we had the max. It's the challenge card and then the headhunter guy. Um, so we had all of that. So that's three. Four, record one unit for each player if there are one or fewer cards in the collection. I don't even know how the heck that's possible, so we don't have that one. Record a unit for each player if there's no threat on the main scheme. There is. There was. There was no way for me to remove yep. it all either. So it's just turn. it's just four each. So Rocket's going to have four units, and Groot is going to have six. In the cards in the collection section, record the title of each player card in the collection. We have none. Zero. Yep. So that's good. We those out. If the Badoon Headhunter is in the victory display, mark scenario two that we killed him, which we did. All right. And then our uh, comic situation here in the Collector's Museum was getting captured part of your plan, Quill. As long as we escape with the Power Stone, yeah. You came to steal from me, but end up part of my collection. How delightful. You must know this stone would be... My lord, the power stone has been stolen. Who cut the power? Get it back. See? Everything went according to plan. Dumb luck is not a plan, Quill. It's 12% of a plan. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I do love these uh, comic strips in here. Um, all right, so that was infiltrating the museum. The next one is escaping the museum. So we have to escape the collector on the second right. round. And we'll have to, um, uh, we'll start the next video with us purchasing, showing you the cards we're going to purchase. Yep. Because I don't know how I'm going to spend my units yet. I got to kind of <laughs> figure it out. I feel like there's a little bit of strategy to how you spend your uh, units in the in the collection. Yeah. And sadly, good. we didn't get max units, but honestly, no, I, I mean, we were getting we got as max as we were going to get. It was a legit. It was a legit victory. Yes. I don't think we screwed anything up majorly. Yeah, we might have a little bit here and there, but I don't think it was anything that uh, was game changing. Yeah, I don't think that we messed up anything that would have cost us the game. Yeah, I agree. Um, but, and honestly, right. uh, we are we really haven't changed our decks. They're the same two decks, and we're just gonna. We're going to see how we could go with just the same two decks like it is. Yeah, we might make small tweaks here and there depending on the villain just yeah, like, uh, so I, we don't get I, blown out. But I, well, The decks I built to be generically good because I wasn't when I first built these, yeah. I wasn't aware that we could switch in standard. Yes. Because um, I remember reading the book and saying, oh, you can't switch. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. So I built the decks that way so that right. they could be generically good. Yeah. Um, I think we'll only tweak them, honestly, if we lose. Like yes. If we lose, we'll tweak them. Yeah. But we're just gonna. Stick or we with... might tweak a card here and there, knowing like if there's something bad that's that gonna maybe happen. That dead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like when I originally start building the decks, I had moment of triumph in here. Um, yeah, but against this guy, it's horrible. Yeah, and honestly, never even used him against Drang. Yeah. Like I had, with the, um, with the inclusion of downtime, and endurance and already having Schadenfreude in the deck, there is enough um, heals. Mm -hmm. um, you just, as you saw in this game, you have to flip frequently against the Collector. 
Yes. Especially if you're the rocket player, mm -hmm. because you need to use your life. Yeah, you just total. take death by a hundred cuts. Your, by this your, guy. your life total has to be a resource that you use in the game. Agreed. Um, you cannot rely. If you're losing to the collector, ask yourself this question. Are you relying on allies to defend for you? Yes. Because as you saw, this collection was almost full of his cards. Correct. Not even our cards that we were. So, like, if we were using, al like, I, the allies I played never died. Right. Right. And that's why I was saying. I had them in play the whole game. Yeah. And that's what made me think. I wonder if for these, for if you're playing, like, say you're playing expert where you can't change your deck. Yeah. And you're, if you're playing allies, you actually might want to play. Some first aid. Some first aids if you're yeah. not a protection player, and if you're a protection player, you definitely want to be playing med like teams. med teams are awesome. Yeah, uh, actually, red med teams are not as awesome because when they die, then they go to the collection. But you can yeah, at least but you use can them mitigate it. Yeah, and you can choose when you're doing right. it too. You know what I mean? Like you can choose when you're using those counters to then put it into the collection. It would be better if you had somebody like Rocket and you could play uh, battery packs and yes. battery pack your med team. I yeah. think you can do that. I'm not sure. I would have to double check. I think it's a tech. What, is, what does battery tech say? Is it tech only? It might say tech only. Which? Uh, battery, no, battery pack is not a tech. I just played two jokes. Yeah, you can't. can't it does do not it. work. No. It'll, it will work with um, energy barrier, because energy uh, barrier yeah, is a tech. Is a tech. Yep. Because I've used that in like the Iron Man protection build, and it counts as a tech, so you sure. get extra cards. Uh, okay. So. Fair enough. All right. Well, thanks for joining us for this special episode of Marvel Champions Hump Day Edition. Yeah, and we <laughs> don't know if we'll be here on Friday, but just keep an eye on our Facebook. Um, if you like and subscribe, you'll get a notification. If we can play on Friday, we will. Yes. It just depends on. We might also just be conflict. a little bit late potentially. We'll have to just see how it goes. Yeah, just pay attention to our Facebook page on Friday, and we'll have more updates as we get closer to our. Energy barrier calls it reflect counters. Oh, so you can't really? do that because battery pack does not give it a reflect counter. I think. I think is what he's saying. Ah. Well, that's sad. Um. Let me see. What's a battery pack say? Move a charge counter from this card to another tech upgrade you control. So it's yeah, charge counter specifically. It's a charge counter specifically. So it only works with Groot's stuff. Got it. That's kind of sad. Rocket stuff. Rocket yeah. stuff. Oh, uh, bummer. Well, thanks face. for pointing that out. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. And we'll hopefully be here on Friday. But if not, we will see you for Marvel Friday next week for the continuation of our campaign. Yep, have a good night.